Chasing the Racing. Powered by Colchester Kawasaki, part of the Global Moto Group. We supply new Aprilla, Moto Guzzi, Vespa, Royal Enfield, Kawasaki, Sim, Mutt and Benelli motorcycles. Three, two, one and welcome back to Chasing the Racing. And let's just go straight into it, even before we enter the, um, enter, tell the guest, enter the guest, that's even worse, John. uh, I don't know if you want to enter the guest, to be honest with you. I wouldn't go down there. (laughs) (laughs) Absolutely stinking. They are, and you can tell by that glorious accent, we have the one and only Joe Ackroyd. How are we doing, son? All good, mate. Oh, good. Is that yeah. all you've got? That's, I've got now else. That, that, well, you're not here for me, are we? We're not here. He's all today. tired. He's all tired and grumpy because he's been to Exeter. <laughs> it's a long way from Yorkshire. He's Exeter. <laughs> Jesus Christ! It's like it's like the end of the world. It's like he's, he's had to go to work. <laughs> I've been to Exeter. Like you're that. a fine one to talk. Well, look, I was at Brands Arch. I got off the ferry Monday from the TT after doing a bit, you know. While you were fucking gardening. It's like top trumps. While you were gardening. I was bloody straight to Brands Arch on a on a Bennett's track there. Getting paid. I love it. I was on wages, yeah. Yeah, there you go. Naturally, I'm a national treasure. (laughs) (laughs) I'm going to get paid, aren't I? I'm not doing it for now. (laughs) um, We just worked it out. It was 200 and... About 200 and... To do the senior TT around Brands Indy, you had to do about 230 laps or something like that. Interesting stat. Boring. But I just thought I'd throw that in there. I know, I know we've worked that out for you. Wasn't me. Yeah, right. but, by the way, um, Rain Man, your son. <laughs> <laughs> He's Mr. Stato. He did, Clipboard Stato. Loves, it. loves, loves it. it. He loves it. He's all over it, yeah. And I'd, yeah. You and if you ask him to work a stat out, he'll just sit there and. He worked every split out, every. And and he tells you things you don't want to hear, which is the <laughs> truth. You don't want to No. Hear. Well, you don't, do you? You don't, want, you don't like the truth, do you? About stats and sectors at the TT is like well you went faster in your super stock back there and that lap and you're like is he that bad? oh he's all over me he's all over me yeah <laughs> and he's like one of them little frustrating bastards that's right you know what I mean you know them <laughs> was it aggro having him Wait, hold on no 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. I just, whoa, whoa. Oh, no, before we no before we go into that I just want to say we're joined by John McGuinness yeah, but I think, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now that I've got that off the air can you, you know, go straight yeah. to that question is that aggro no no I love it mate because I think I was going to say, it was aggro, you know, last year when you had to do your own super sport thing. And it was, yeah. And, and but he had a lot of pressure on him, didn't he? <laughs> well, or he yeah, put a lot of pressure it, it, on himself, well, didn't he? Well, yes and no. It was a bit, ended up a little bit my fault, a little bit of circumstance, a little bit with the team, a little bit, a few issues. One of the mechanics had to go back from the TT back to work and then come back and it left it all on you and shoulders. And, you know, you think he was working for Honda at the time, BSB, going really, really well was Glenn Owen's uh, chassis mechanic. And all of a sudden he's he's running the 600 team at the TT, which was not good, really. Too much pressure on him. And a lot, lot of pressure on me as well because I'm 100 star, the 30th anniversary of the Blade, I was 50-year-old, I was fucking MBEs going. There was too much going on last year. And then the 600 was chucked in there as well and it didn't uh, quite work out. Um, disappointingly, because it should have been better. Uh, but we you go. We had got not to be on a 600 this year. I was, yeah, especially in them conditions, yeah. Mm. The one for a oh. lack of trying, though, was it? <laughs> I, tr- I tried. <laughs> I tried, and, you know, we are going into massive detail, and to be honest, I don't know the detail. I don't understand it, you know, in a lot of ways. It, it just didn't happen, and it, it, in hindsight, it was probably the best thing for me because I'm not really a team manager. I struggle on that type of thing. Uh, I'm not the most organised person in the world, as you know. Uh I've always laughing <laughs> at. No. I've, hey, I've been so no, lucky. Where, I've been so lucky where I've ridden in teams where I just like the van turns up, I walk in, the awning's up, everything's up. It's a good job you married Becky. There's your bike, mate. And away you go, you know. But like, <laughs> so the, I, fucking. It, it's nice to just have four rides at the TT. But then I wasn't bothered at the time. Then they were flying around. And I was like, I wouldn't mind a shot on a six hundred. But. Mm. Uh, I had to prioritise what I was doing at the TT uh, and my, my bread and butters with Honda, they didn't want me to ride one. So if I was in a Paget team or, or, a, or a team on a competitive bike and I could walk to it and ride it and, and give it back, it probably would have been a bit of an easier job. But Pagets were, were tied up and Jacksons were tied up with uh, with Dave or, Dave or Johnson and stuff. So it just didn't work out for me. So Because uh, you would have to be on a Honda 600, <clears throat> wouldn't you? You couldn't just go pick out any bike, could you? No, no chance. It'd have to be a Honda. Do you uh, think they'd have been sound if if Clive had said, you know, there's a space and you can ride? They'd have been all right with you riding 
Possibly for somebody else. Yeah, I think that 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 would have been okay to to ride in in somebody like Clive's team and just you know swap the helmet and swap the well swap the leathers and jump on the bike mm. that would have been okay. But to, to run one myself and it took me off the ball last year. You know it's hard. The bike come late. We tried to get it to go fast and we didn't work. It didn't really work out. Everybody tried, but everybody pulled from pillar to post. But it just didn't seem to. You even asked me to come and span a feed, didn't you? Yeah. Oh God, Jesus! No, 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 whoa, no. whoa! It's I didn't, to be honest, with you, I didn't want the responsibility. It's just rubbish. Man. I didn't want the responsibility. Why is that then? Well, it's fucking, I, I didn't want the responsibility. <laughs> I just didn't. You could build a race bike. You know what I mean? You know yeah, what you're no, doing. I've always done my own stuff, stuff, but I didn't. I didn't want the responsibility. Have you seen his past? No, I'm good at finding walls. <laughs> no, no, see, okay, right. I'm going to ask you a question now. If it was, oh, here we go. Let's oh, put in a conundrum. If it was you, if it was me, me, I. No, you know what I mean. Because it's John. You know, as he humbly said before, he's a national treasure. <laughs> I just I'd, humble I'd, John. You know what I mean. No, I don't <laughs> think I'd, I don't think I'd want to do it for you. I I don't think I'd want to do it. I don't think I'd want to be in that position. Anyone? Not really. No. I respect that. No I problem. Think I yeah. Mm. No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't want to do it either. No. I find it hard now, even sometimes with uh, giving advice and stuff. Now it's, it's too much, you know. Yeah. Had you on the phone for a lap? Oh, mate, I was. You know, I had everybody oh. on the phone to me this this TT, and and I feel bad and I feel arrogant, but I'm I'm not. I just find it difficult. You can't yeah. help but feel if something went wrong, mm. there's a sense of responsibility. There's a sense that you were tied to that, and to, mm. and I, I think there is, and I think for the people on the spanners and the family and all the rest of it going through it. I think being on the spanners so much more, but in the same breath, it's a bit like you know if Michael Hickman, John, you know Davy, any like like the everyone on that <clears> TT grid that gave advice to another TT rider. I can't see that being handing over someone a gun. I re- I, I really mm. don't because you know yourself. You only push to what you know. But as far as getting knowledge around there is massive. I think it's it's bits. You know, just mm. snippets. Really, not too much. You try and overthink it sometimes. You know, and you know if I said, oh, just peeling her there or try that in fourth gear instead of third gear, and you go yeah. around it and you go, I oh, made fourth ten, four, five tenths, then that's a bonus. But going around can just bombarding you with this 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 it can be a bit overload you know i remember i'll tell you what changed my opinion on it a little bit was 2018 when i was in the norton team i went around in the car with josh and uh josh Josh brooks Brooks. and i'm going around i thought i was chatting away about things and he's he's not massively paying any attention i thought it's quite interesting chatting away blah 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 and he said john don't take it the wrong way but i just want to do it my own way fair enough (laughs) (laughs) and it, it just like boom you know i thought fuck you know fair enough yeah. fair enough yeah. you know yeah. you don't get a handbook to do it nobody says here you do this 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 everybody styles different everybody works things out differently you know like josh is such a clever bsb champion in he was fifth in the senior this year i was gonna I say think. i think yeah. it's fair to say when was the last, he, the last time he was there was 2018 then 19 was 18, 18, 18 18 18 yeah 18. sorry 18 on the norton did 31 plus on that but, third so and then he's been away for that long and he's come back yeah. and I, I have massive TT's. respect hold on, hold on he's missed two he's missed two TT's, TT's no two Every, like you know when you think COVID not COVID on the head in the way that it's brilliantly programmed I'm a Josh Brooks fan I'm a bit mm. I, I like him but he's a clever sod in the same breath because he's mm. only missed two <laughs> Now, two's a lot in this game. Don't get yeah. us wrong, but still, it, it makes it sound like, oh, he hasn't been back for five years. He's a clever yeah. lad. He's I know, but I still think massive respect for someone who's who has been away for, for five years and has spent his time on short circuits, mm. programming his brain to that. Mm. It's not an easy place to just flick a switch and go back to and then mm. go back and be as competitive as what he was. He keeps yeah, his no, gob yeah, shut. He, was... he keeps his gob shut. He was under the radar. He yeah. in. It wasn't well, it was he under the radar. I don't know. It was Hickey's teammate. I suppose the pressure was on Peter. Yeah, everyone was looking at Hickey, weren't but, they, really? I mean, what a good job he did. You know, solid job on the stocker. And uh, he had a... Well, I think did he get races. a podium in the... Like, twins. twins. Yeah, yeah, twins, yeah. Twins, yeah. Twin, yeah. Yeah, but he'd only got as far as top of St. Ninians in one of the races on the stocker or something. Or one of them yeah, broke he did. Down. Yeah, he so broke down, yeah. Lost a bit of time on, on the track, but a solid performance. But what you forget is... How good he is. Cream, yeah. <laughs> Cream comes to the top, yeah, doesn't it? You yeah. know, whether you like it or not, you think everybody's trying and trying and trying. He does it so naturally that that but going back to the conversation when I was his teammate, he wanted to do it himself and I thought that'll do for me, you know. How was it? Because obviously 
this is weird for me doing like an interview kind of thing with you. I know you're too a bit, but this. Is, yeah, but usually the, the only interaction we have is just absolutely ripping. Well, usually me ripping <laughs> into him. We can do it. <laughs> so, so it's it's a bit of a weird one. But what I was going to, I think people that are listening, obviously, you are an icon. The, 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 you are. They love you to bits. Everybody loves you, and I haven't heard anyone say a bad word mm. about you because you give people the time. And I've watched you get fucking mobbed and. The patience is unbelievable. So people do want to listen and people are going to listen. But mm. how was it coming, going back into Honda? Because people are going to want to know how that relationship was right. and how it felt to go back into Honda. <laughs> it felt right, to be honest. It did did, did feel right. Uh, <clears throat> I never really wanted to come out of that situation. Anyway. You don't have to talk about that situation. Yeah, but I didn't never wanted to come out of that situation. It was just a circumstance thing, yeah. change of management, one or two things. And... I put a little bit of blame on myself. I should have never put myself in that position. Then I never should have put myself in that position on a Norton, should I? The thing was the worst thing I'd ever ridden in my life with engine bolts falling out of it left, right and centre. But then the Kawasaki thing come along with Bournemouth. And, uh, you know, they came to see me from Bournemouth to sit in my front room and, and they offered me a package. And I thought, yes, I really... But the COVID kicked in and then... I, it's like things happen for a reason in your life, don't they? And planets line up stars line up and the honda thing come back together and you know all the way through my injury and uh, even through the norton and everything else harvey beltram was always at the end of the farm and there wasn't many people at the end of the farm when i was in not a great place and uh you were <laughs> well you were uh, for me yeah i know but we spoke about that before there's another podcast but uh you know that harv was there and they offered me a package and i've got to think I've got to put my big boy pants on and think, where am I going to be in five years? And if I can't race, can I be? Can I go to Honda dealerships and tell everybody how good I used to be, you know, and talk shit for it, which I can anyway. Uh, <laughs> but it felt, it felt right. It felt like slip, slipping the old slippers back on, really. And uh, I, I know that environment. I know how it works. It's corporate sometimes, and I get my wings clipped a lot sometimes. They're, they're trying to rein me in a little bit and trying to professionalise me, which is quite difficult for me because I've been around the game a long time. I'm probably the probably one of the last ones that can get away with being a bit more cheeky but they know what they're dealing with with that though don't they they're, they're used to it regardless I, of what I said. break or not they know when they're getting involved with you mm. we're going to have to fucking it's like herding cats isn't it? Yeah. It, yeah you're going to yeah. have to just keep me on a tight rein but but I will go to the dealership I will speak to the the fans the spe- without spectators and fans and people spending their money we're nothing are we I'm not going to be sat here earning any money <laughs> so you just got to get the balance right and like I say you meet loads of people you don't know who you're going to meet it's open doors left right and centre for me and um, you know I meet some complete bell ends along the way but you just got to he's a knob Wait, you've got two yeah. you've got two sitting yeah. in the drive in this <laughs> studio yeah. right now I tell, well, well, the, well the last well, I tell you if what if I thought you were knobs you want me on my drive well, you always, do always like ever think about that <laughs> I always remember that if I didn't want you I wouldn't want you do you know what I mean I tell you what, you know what, like you know what's mad. The last two bell ends that were on your drive was me and Chrissy, yeah. and that was episode thirty-eight, a legend in Neverland, three years ago. So that, that was why is, I wanted to is, ask you how it was, mm. like going back into the Honda thing, and exactly, basically, you could have said that. That's that was the thing I was looking for. Mm. It was like a pair of slippers. It was just mm. back into. It, mm. it showed this year. Last year looked like it was difficult, <laughs> like you say. But, yeah. yeah. Look, right. I'm I'm glad you brought that up this early on because last year was not John McGuinness. No. Yeah. No, you know what I mean. And Is that like, the six hundred thing? No, I think I just put a lot of pressure on myself a little bit. I think the the, the test, maybe that test ban didn't help. Uh, didn't get in much riding uh, that I wanted to, and I wasn't in a in a better place. Really, I don't know. It's hard to the, try and explain. But you weren't the only one. Hmm? You know, Rutter was doing the same speed as Hutchie, hmm. James Hillier. Yeah. You know, it's it's yeah. not like oh poor John. It, yeah. I, I'm I'm. It's a bit of a riddle for me, really. Why? And then you had the Paget lads who are the only ones to excel. You know, mm. even Dunlop didn't go quicker, but Dunlop matched his six hundred time yeah. of a one twenty nine, along with Dean Harrison. But Dean Harrison didn't go faster than a thirty two, and Hickman didn't go any faster. Than, I make it sound like that's a piece of piss. Oh yeah, he nah. didn't go any quicker. Than Probably 30, the weather. 30, you know, no, but in the same breath, mm. you know, it's like everyone was a bit like, oh, you know, but you weren't. You weren't John, and Rutter wasn't Rutter, and mm. Hutchie wasn't Hutchie, you know, and Hillier wasn't Hillier. Mm. You know, we were all, well, but it was we're all, all the same, doing 29s. All, all of us same, were doing 29s. It just goes like a wave, doesn't it? But, but, like, when that, they were doing 35s, 35s, I were doing 31s this year, whatever. So it's, it goes in cycles, doesn't it? 
I think everybody had been away, the COVID, everybody treated it with respect, I think, and everybody just fed themselves into it. And the weather wasn't as good as it mm. was this year. So, But I can say, you know, you've been on the start line at number one. It's Your arse is nipping, isn't it? <laughs> I mean, you've done it once. I've done it a few times, but I still, my arse is tweaking. I tell you, you know, you're, you're there with the number one plate on the factory Honda with your gold leathers on, with 100 start, with everybody looking at you. You know, I'm not thinking, I'm not, like thinking my next apex, next apex. I'm thinking, shit. You know, I need to do a good job here, and I'm just my mind is just not not quite dialed in. You know, my teammate was going. Well, actually, went faster than me last year as a newcomer, which is nuts, isn't it? I mean, this year I went faster on the first night. I did the whole of the TT in 2022. But the answer to your question is, at the start of it all, is I don't really know. It's a great question, Tom. It's quite intelligent for you, to be fair. <laughs> <laughs> how, how how is it? How is it? Yeah, it'll be it's mad. But the <clears> thing <throat> is, you can almost single out you single out who you're a fan of, don't you? And everyone like, no, John's will be focused on John, and then Hilliers will be focused on mm. Hilliers, and blah 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 blah. But there was that wave of going, well, why? Mm. The, why the? Why yeah. was that? Because like Hilly, Hillier this year. By, by the way, I'll, what I, that's what I love about this podcast. Having you introduce what this is, this is like a proper sit down TT review, and obviously like the Northwest and everything in that regard. But like, it, like we're stuck right into the mix of it, and I'm loving it. Because, <laughs> but like Hillier, what did Hillier do? He did a one thirty two, thirty two seven summit. He did. He went about two tenths faster than I did in fifteen, which but that's, pops me down the order a little bit. So. But that like that will put him. That is his fastest time around the yeah. TT course, isn't it? Yeah, last lap, last lap of the senior. Because I was fourteen seconds in front of him with a lap and a half to go on in six, and I thought I'm all right with it. And I, it went like plus nine, plus seven, plus two, and he just coming and coming and coming. I was like, fuck, you know. How hilarious. many boards do you have on the island? Three, three. Yeah, one at well, Ballacrane, one at uh, Gwen's, uh, which is coming out of Balaf, and one on uh, coming out of uh, the bungalow. Right. So there were some boards out, I yeah. see. You mm. proper chopping up time all the way through that. But he was just battering into me. But uh, I've been in that position before. James was going round solid, which he always is. And then Connor passed him and then woke him up a little bit and he tagged onto the back of him yeah. in 132.7, which popped me out of six into seventh. Right. Uh, I tried hard on last lap. I did 100, over 131, but it, it wasn't good enough to hold off James. But... Um, Hats off to James, you know, he went fast uh, and I dropped the seventh, but sixth, seventh, does it really matter in my world? Not really, but... I, t- I tell you what really impressed me, though, is how it's your career, you know, when we're talking about the Honda element and everything like that, and the fact is, if you cut you in half, you'd almost see, you know, your wins in mm. colours and it would be K-Tech, the Dunlops and the Honda. Mm. You know what I mean? This is your second year on the Metzlers, but the fact that you went from... 29s. The thing is, it's a confidence thing, isn't it? You know what I mean? You're still, what you yeah. learn tyres, don't you? Like, mm. I've been very lucky. I've done my fast slap on the Metzlers. But the fact that you've gone out and that's from a 29 mm. up to a 31. Now, you've got the weather, but you're building up on that mm. time. Fit, it's, fit, our fitter and yeah. the Spanish trip was fantastic. We did four days in Monte Blanco, three days in Andalusia. The BSB tests plus the first two BSB rounds. So I was definitely in better shape. Mm. Northwest was was great. We, me, Rutter and Hilly were the best of the rest. You know, the top three were gone. Top three, four were away. Fair enough. But, uh, you know, going to the tyres, we, I give a lot of feedback last year on the tyres uh, and we, they made a better tyre. A slightly better tyre, I wouldn't say. Yes. Yeah. You know, it was a sl- slightly better tyre. Uh, but they are... That's where we are. That's what I have to do. I have to be positive about it. Last year, I was a bit negative about it, about the Mets to change, because I've had such a long time on Dunlops. Yes. And, uh, you know, the Dunlop thing last year, they dodged a few bullets, to put it fucking mildly. You know, mm. that was... how well, anybody never got hurt last year. What was going on, I do not know. Cause so I can understand Honda's point of view because they have a duty to care for the riders and stuff like that I don't want that to happen this year nothing like that happened with the Dunlops and Dunlop completely dominated again you know but it's Would you it boils my it, piss because I, uh, oh don't get me started I might just I will, on one, but I was it's say, lost the you... passion a little bit you know the, the, the Dunlop not being there at the TT this year I mean I, I can't believe it you know there's no racing input for from Dunlop 
you know they should have they've, they've gone away and fixed it but pulled out of it which is amazing for me I don't know the full politics and that but for me it's all about racing and winning and numbers and course, what they've yeah. achieved and how they're the oldest tyre in the world and then they just but in, in the, wash their hands of it but, in the, it. Si- but in the same breath the thing that, like about tyres is that could happen to any tyre manufacturer you know when you think don't lot have been bought out by Goodyear now mm. and the thing is the North West last year the delamination that they went on to the 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 TT as well, you know that could happen to any tire brand. I'm not, you know, I'm not picking out mm. favourites or anything like that. That could just happen. But me being totally on the outside, in my opinion, opinions are like oh, so everyone's got one. But the thing is, why would Goodyear go? Well, you know, we got a lot of negativity there, you know, on on a situation that we've rectified. So mm. why are they going well? And realistically, unfortunately. It's the world's greatest sport, but it's quite. It's still a niche market. When you think Goodyear mm-hmm. banging out more tractor tires, go kart tires, it's all money driven. Isn't it? At the end it of is, the day, it it's is. a business. That, they've got that, to make money. They're more bothered about where they're putting the money to make well, something, and they don't. They don't give Goodyear make. That, do they? Is it? Well, somebody told me a stat about it that they make one point five million tires a year, and it's two percent of the company. Something. Yeah, that, that's what I mean, isn't it? Yeah, but they could set aside a budget, which is probably about a quid. You know what? In the, the what they earn. Yeah. To, to to still have that passion and the hunger and everything else to go racing. Which, I went to the bike show in London and I saw a, a fucking two adventure bikes and, a, and an Indian and someone. Nothing wrong with them bikes. On the Dunlop side. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I, I, I was ruined. For me, I, I was like, where's the race bikes? You know, there should be... <laughs> all those years. All them years. have been forgotten like, about. Yeah, it's yeah. just gone. Just and I'm just thinking, oh, well, that's not what we're looking at now. It's not the market. Fuck the market. You know, let's... Amen to that. I'm like, ah, oh, just like... Where's the fucking wean thing gone? You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, I completely agree. And everyone at that London bike show were there for, you know, like, they want to see race bikes, don't mm. they? Well, I do. Maybe I I've do. got it wrong. Maybe the things are You're moving. Taught. You're taught. Well, <laughs> do, do you agree? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'm I'm old school and this is where we're going and this is what we've got to do. And But, Christ, you know, still have that fucking history and the, the you know yeah, I, yeah. I don't know maybe it's well, corporations isn't it corporations bring they bring someone in to do another job and then that's mm. what happens Big yeah but he's no interest in winning the first 130 I did in whatever a seven and a shit, blah 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 it's just that's oh, yesterday's news but for me it means everything but maybe I've got it wrong but I don't know the the tyre job's frustrating I mean behind this lever on your handlebars and your brake pads the next thing is your tyres is only connected to the roads yeah, yeah. so you know, you can. I'm not going to point any fingers, slag anybody off, whatever. You know, the, the Dunlop again dominated. Did they arguably have the best riders? Arguably so. Could have Dean beat him on the Dunlops? I believe he probably could, uh, or been a lot closer. Uh, yeah, no, he, no, no, do you think that would have Dean Harrison difference? loves the Metzlers? He loves them. He's been, he's been on them for Fine. years, hasn't he? Years I'm, not, I'm not here to judge anybody or make any comments. I had a. If I'd have had done lots on my bike, my result probably would have been the same. I would have probably been, I maybe could have been fifth. You know, Connor was fourth in the scene. Would I beat him? We'd done lots on? Probably not. But, you know, my bike was safe. My bike was great. The bike's better than I am, 100% at this minute. I just brought the bike home in one piece safely. Uh, but. <clears throat> you don't think it's... with the, with Dean's situation, that's a Kawasaki? It, the fact that it's 10 mile an hour Just... down on everyone else. <laughs> That's mental. That but he, that is mental, isn't it? When you look at the, when you look at the speed traffic, like when you think about Harrison, yeah, and Dun, um, Hickman, you know what yeah. I mean. Like Dean is ten mile an hour down, yeah. and he still came second in the senior. Yeah, Dean, Dean's got the minerals, hasn't he? He has, hasn't he? Eight, six rides, six podiums. What? What? He did just shy of a thirty-five mm. on the Kawasaki and the Metzlers. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like it's like, go on, son. Hats no, off. No, it's hats off. You know, no. I, I, I like Dean. I spent a lot of time with Dean recently. He comes to talk to me. Uh, you know, he tells me a few secrets. He's a family man. Um, you know that that. But sometimes, is it gone a little bit stale? You know, is, does it something needs to change to make? It needs something else, doesn't it? It's a bit in a rut, isn't it? <laughs> Kawasaki. Da, 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 da. Well, I hate the, to say it, the but bike hasn't really changed. No, has it? it hasn't Not since 2015. Nah. They, they changed the bodywork, didn't they? They did a bit of a facelift on it, but it's the same bike, really. Mm. But same with stock times, you know, it's like that kind of element. And it's like, it's like for God's sake, you know, it's Dow Racing are privateer, but are they? We were actually having a quick chat with yeah. this before we got I think going. they've it's got like, factory support, haven't they? Probably the same as Johnny Ray's engine, but 
Who knows? But possibly, possibly. Johnny's getting his ass handed, isn't he? You know, there's, no, there's nobody throwing any more effort in than Johnny, and he's he's struggling, isn't it? That's it. I mean, world superbikes at the minute, it's just, just, just switch it off, don't you? Fast forward your way through it. Yeah, <laughs> you're not wrong, mate. You're it's not terrible, wrong. isn't it? That's terrible for him. I t- what would you put him on if you could pick him? Wait, you- who? Dean, Dean? Hansen. <laughs> Wait, he's a Honda. I love well, this. You know, he works for Honda. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Don't, I'll put him a Ducati, you bellhead. No, no, no. <laughs> they, they've got to steer their ship along. It's a privateer team. I don't think, I wouldn't have thought Kawasaki are uh, giving him flipping piles of motorbikes and a budget to run the team. So why not? James yeah. brand, you know, whatever brand that is, it's up to them. But sometimes as a rider, you need a an injection of enthusiasm again you know oh god I'm on this he's beaten before he starts isn't he oh I'm 10 mile an hour slow for his speed track mm. he is it's a fact it is I you know that BM slippery isn't it you know what I mean I mean Hickey's not the lightest or the smallest guy in the world and he's consistently 199 200 mile an hour for speed track well Jesus it's a hell of a lot easier isn't it to do it when you're doing another 10 mile an hour faster than anybody else not that he's not riding fantastic I mean Dean's got to be riding every bit as hard or even harder What for what the package he's got but uh that's up to them, you know. It's uh, it's up to Dean and to start. Yeah, m- you know, sh- sh- making some, some shit around, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is bad, but I mean, you know, it's. I like Dean. You know, he bought his first bike off eBay. He went his first race was fucking scaries or something ridiculous on an R one that he bought off eBay, and he's not gone BSB and decided, oh, I might go and do TT because. I'm not quite good enough at BSB. I'll go and do that. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. He's, I know exactly he's gone. You, you know, he's gone and bought and done that. So he's the story's great. You know, yeah. is he the most natural rider in the world? Probably not. As he worked at it, yes. You know, hundred percent. When you when you look at what he's achieving in BSB yeah. now, well, isn't it? You know what I mean? He was always, yeah. always at the like, and that's uh, Dean. You is, know, is, that, is world class. You know, when we say we talk about like who was hot and who was not. And yes. we say, like Alton Park, mm. he, I was dead impressed with him. Mm. What was he, seventh, eighth, That's something me. like that? He's scoring points it, in BSB, it, doing 34s or 5s around Alton Park. You are fucking very impressive. pulling trees up, yeah, you know. Yeah. Yeah. And then <clears throat> he's solid, solid package. There's nothing not to like about him, is there? I suppose he's in a bit of an awkward position because he's got comfy there, hasn't mm. he? He's, not, he's that yeah. familiar I with everything around yeah, him. But... The team have sort of been built around him and yeah. what he likes and everybody gets on. He ain't going to want to rock the boat, but then in the same breath, he's going to walk away from that. He's going to get on that ferry and think, fucking hell. Mm. So like you say, he's, I, th- I, th- if you I don't do- know, maybe we're speaking out of turn. I don't maybe, think we are, you know, but, but it's, I, it's, 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 There's loads of great stories. Look at, you know... It, Look at Michael Dunlop, how motivated he arrived at the Northwestern was... TT. Because I know what motivates Michael. I've, I've worked with him. I worked with him for 12 months and did the World Endurance. A lot better short circuit than anybody gives him any credit for. But when you're reading all the time that it's the Hickey and, and Harrison show, then, you know, that's, you're gonna that's get the best, up, aren't you? best motivation. You feel the fire there. Correct. Right? You, yeah. you know, so he's like, I'll show you bastards. Yeah. So he's just come to the party, hasn't he? Good bike, good package, good team. Happy look, place, look, one, I... look, look, yeah. look, and lean, look and yeah. dedicated. Signed for a team early, which mm. is not normally Michael Dunlop's style, is it? You know, he's normally at the TT launch for you lads going, oh, I haven't got anything mm. sorted. It was actually quite like mm. January time. It was like, good lad. You know, it was actually yeah, yeah. perfect is, package, though. Perfect oh. package because he's got, you know, Stuart and Steve Hicken. No yeah. politics. You know, he can have his. Cal Cox around for Pound Street Sweep, this sticker on it, that sticker on it. You know, he's he's not going to starve. He's doing all right. His merchandise is flying. The job's a dream. Yeah. You know, there's nothing not to like about the whole thing. He can ride a Yamaha, he's riding his pattern. You know, Honda Superbike. Um, done the work. He's done the, done the yards, hasn't he? He's but, done the hard yards. But that's the thing, you know, the mad thing, like sometimes it's like, you, he always sometimes, like, Forgive me if I'm speaking out of turn, but that you know that persona all the time of I'm just a road racer. He's, he has been a busy boy this year. Mm. He's been doing super sport as well as stock foul. Then you go to the next round of like well, he's been doing the BSB test in Alton Park, and then he went. <laughs> he's just pulling a bat out of his cave. Yeah, he's just standing there and then he'll just roll it up and flick it on us. That's just don't standard. you fucking don't you glue it under the table? Go on. <laughs> it's bad. I'll roll it up to dries up. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> no, but no, but like Dunlop's been doing the work, though. You mm. know what I mean? He's he always, been the BSB it, pen, and he's been he's been out right at Kirk. So he's he's mm. done the work, hasn't he? He's always in control as well, and he's right. always do. He's always got to be steering everything himself, hasn't he? And as soon as that control's taken away from his head, rolls off. That's what I mean. We're different takes, characters all the time. Yeah. I couldn't do that. I commend him for that. You know, I, I don't know how to build an engine. <clears throat> I built an engine and millions of bits. That's me. I'm out. You know, 
So he's building his engine, he's putting his engine in his way, all that work, fair play. And he always he finds himself back at Deere. Hawk, doesn't he? Yeah. He does always keep finding himself back in mm. with Hawk, where he's mm. obviously got that, that, like you say, they just yeah. let him do it. Because they're old school, yeah. you know, there's no, he doesn't have to be like corporate doing, bollocks. Mm, doesn't have to be at a chat show, doesn't have to be this, he won't do it. So yeah. he, you know, Stuart won't give a fuck if he's not at a, a press conference. You know, he's not interested. He's putting the helmet on on the bike, and he might kill me for saying this, but um, he gave me a ring after the scene. Yeah, I thought strange. And then, like, can you come and see me? I was like, Whoa. I said, you know, I, yeah, no problem. I'll be there in a second. So I went around. He said, he said, here, can you sign that? And it was the helmet he matched my twenty three wins with. Nice. So that's class. that's made me, nearly made me cry. I was like, oh, that's you know. amazing. That. So I signed the lady match my 23 with. So, and I was first, well, I wanted first to congratulate him because I just know how hard it is to win 23. You've beaten me to it because I was just about to say to you, it was quite a big, quite a, I, I was on holiday and Zoe mm. was obsessed. She listened to everything on the radio and fucking hell. And she, she said that it was sort of talked about quite a lot. Mm. I had to deal with the chimps in the swimming pool. So I didn't get to hear <laughs> him talking about it, but it's my life, it's ruined. Um, <laughs> and, you left uh, it in your pants. <laughs> it felt nice at the time, didn't it? <laughs> <laughs> She'll squirt it over her, over her head. Yeah. <laughs> all, all what it could have been. <laughs> Easiest thing in the world, isn't it? Yeah. And uh, where were we? I was just thinking about bullying. I, think I was just thinking about bullying that. Just, uh, <laughs> but no, how did, well, how did it feel to, you know... To... I'm happy. I'm happy you match me. Records are there to be broken. Honestly, man, I never thought I'd be sat in a, in a trailer on my drive talking about having 23 wins, you know what I mean? <laughs> Somebody give you a pack of cards and went, here's your, here's your deal, you can win six. You got fucking, you grab them, wouldn't you, immediately. So to win to win 23 is amazing. And uh, for Michael to win 25, you know, it wasn't meant to be to match his uncle. I think that's just wasn't meant to be. I think Joey needed to hold on to it for another year. Uh, Do you reckon it'll go? Yeah, yeah, I think so. Michael's young enough, and he's mm. he's about. He's a, in his prime. He's a week old, uh, younger than me. The How old is that? The, the, he's thirty four. Perfect time. No, That's, but it's, the, the, so he's he's the, still got realistically. If we work on the, yours, he's got yeah, another fucking thirty five years left. Has, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <Flat>. <laughs> but it. it that 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 that's your prime. Twenty one, twenty five. You're not in your prime at TT. Thirty four is absolute prime time. Yeah. You know who you want around you. You know what you want from your bike. You know how the system works. You know the track. He's done his apprenticeship, hasn't he? You just know. Yeah. But when I was mid thirties, you know, I was ripping around and, and doing the business. But um, and he's in that spot now. And I, I, I'm riding around. He passed me. He passed me coming out of the Craig on that one. Took thirty seconds out of me. I was like, oh, fucking hell, you know. Some I saw the helicopter that. and I thought. It's not. They're not following me. I'm not leading this race. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking, where is he? Where is he? Like, did it's you funny. A, did you go, have a glance back? I did. I had a glance at the Craig. Yeah, but you know, I just thought, keep going, keep on the line. <clears throat> I don't look at Craig, and he was just buried under my seat. I was like, Ooh. so I gave him. Um, I moved over, and he, he just gave me a lovely little thumbs up. And I know that because I've done it before. You know what I mean? It's such a great place to be. He was like, thumbs up. I'm off. Checked out and that were it. So. Tell you what, he is the he is the most well mannered rider mm. on that track. Um, I could you not like first night I broke down on the six hundred, and they held the yellow flag out just for the bike. He could, he could see it coming through Ginger Hall, mm. and he always stuck a leg out. Mm. He did eight laps that night, and every yeah. every and I'm going. That is just. Mm. He's just he just acknowledges yellow flags. Now don't mm. get me wrong, you as a rider you don't have to. You know no. what I mean? You don't. You, you have to roll and for safety and stuff like that. Mm. But he's physically taking the time to stick something. It's not a bad thing just to just to just wave your leg just to let the marshal know. Yeah, that you've, you've seen him. It, yeah, you? you've yeah. seen the marshal because, like I say, it's touched upon a lot, isn't it? Without marshals, we're not going racing. Yeah, you know? and they, they get. Uh, yeah, they just. I was up on the mountain when I brought down the bloody fuel pump went on that stocker and there they were. Is that why you were at the veranda? Yeah. I saw you. Like, the be- there's John and there's an, like, an, like a bunch of minions of marshals pushing <laughs> it. He's just going through the grass. They're waving like... Was, but, uh, I think, don't tell me people are doing something else for him. Mate, you can push around <laughs> fucking bike. Either. No, honestly, <laughs> I'm not last night, I was knackered. <laughs> like, there, there's me just going, oh, well, that's one place. <laughs> Do you know when Michael Very came back? Did, did you try and go with him at all? Yeah, I got... Uh, down through Brandish, stuck with him. Through Hillbury, struck with him a little bit, and then um, yeah. through Braille, he just. Did you think I'm going to try and just? I did. Yeah. I did. I thought, well, I'm just get a toe for maybe half a lap or something. Like no, nah. no, it was. He held me on through Bedstead and the Nook and a few others, and then he really went through Bob and Braille hard. 
very, yeah. very fast. On a superbike, and everybody say, oh, you flat out through there. What a shit. You can't do it flat on a superbike. Not a chance. So, But you reckon he wasn't far off? He was more, He was going faster than I was. He was definitely, he, he pulled a lot of time through there on me. And uh, and it was it was good to watch. I, I'm, I'm happy for him. Great. You know, new generation. Well, not new generation because he won his first TT in 09. It was a really long time ago. When he was 20 year old on a 600 in a wet, sort of dampish race that I was in myself. Uh, but it was class act. You know, he was class act when he passed me. Jamie Coward was solid. He passed me. He was going He's really, really TT. well. Yeah, James Hilly, strong as ever. And Hickey come past, you know, and I was like, fucking hell, you know. He's the best at the minute. And, and he looked the best, you know. Talking about that next generation. Mm. So your teammate, unfortunately, Nathan... Yeah. Collarbone, wasn't it? Collarbone, yeah. Quite a bad it's Skateboard quite a bad as well, wasn't it? I think his wrists are all right, but his collarbone's quietly smacked about a little bit, yeah. Mm. Talk about sort of waiting your lifetime and getting your dream, and he <laughs> sat there, and the poor lad's... Uh, he had some personal tragedy as well, didn't he? Oh, and, and then just, you, could, yeah. God love him. you know, it, it, that was a shit one for him. I felt bad for him with that. that mm. was, uh, I've enjoyed working, working with Nathan. You know, he's coming out of his shell a little bit as well. Um... Uh, He's a bit steady, you know. He's never had a drink in his life. He will not touch a drink at all. How do you get never. on with him? Get on with him well. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he does a drink. Well, we had a, we had a deal. We had, we had a deal. Just slide that over. <laughs> <in there. laughs> it wouldn't have happened anyway, but if I got on the podium, he was going to eat to have a beer. So. Oh, yes. And then if he got on the podium, I had to have a tattoo or something of him or something. I had a couple of deals with other people. <laughs> All he's, the... he's going to be covered in tattoos. Ah, I don't know. Yeah. getting a slave now. It don't matter, does it? It don't matter, does it? It's only a game. But, like I say, it, it's... You know, I was having that race him at Northwest and uh, I, I was praying just for him to get through it. You know what I mean? Just get through it. 24-year-old on the factory bike. Fucking don't make any mistakes. And... We had this chat conversation loads of times, but you know it's like on the helmets on. And, you know, I passed him and and then, I don't know, it's weirdly, I sort of semi-feel a bit responsible for it. I think, you know, if I was up the road 10 seconds, I'd be behind him 10 seconds, he might have been at the TT. But, you know, I, I felt like I always had a target on my back with him. He always liked wanted to beat me and he beat me. He was faster than me in Spain testing and a lot of places he was a bit faster than me, but I... I was looking at the big game, you know. <laughs> For me, I wanted to be going down Braille at all, you know, whatever. So, uh, you were you were old bull, he was young bull. Well, there's a lot of old riders and there's a lot of bold riders, isn't there? But there's not very many old bold riders around. So, <laughs> Close. Just... But I'll tell you what. Yeah, but it's true, though, isn't mm. it? There's you, Rutter. Mm. It's about it. Yeah. No. Dave Mads and Migdal, he's still tearing around at 70 or something, but... I don't, I don't know. Like I said, he'll have his chance again. He's 24. I didn't do my first TT till I was 25. So, he's, you know, he's, he's done the, the Manx of TT. He's, he's, and he's put his son in the position to be in the factory team. So, he's doing something right. And you can't, you got to commend the kid. You know, he, he speaks to Harvey. He buys the parts of Harvey. He, he, he's, he just, he just shone out somehow last year. Somebody was just doing what he was doing and he just, came out not like you didn't Tom <laughs> not like you didn't shine sir you should have you could have been my teammate but, uh... should have brought on to man <laughs> <laughs> oh mate I've got this oh, I've got this quick story right so anyway you know when you talk about rides so anyway I, could, I got home <clears throat> couple of days cutting trees and I get, got this phone call like on the phone and I went oh I'm not picking that up anyway this message pops up oh it's hi it's Alan Jackson hmm. from Jackson Racing can he give us a ring I'm going I mean, yeah, it's, it's finally it's, happening. Mate, it's finally fucking happened. <laughs> it's finally, it's happening. It's finally happening. I'm not, I'm, I'm not going to be on my own bike. This is happening. <laughs> Kept me shit together. <laughs> Hello, Alan. It's uh, Dominic here. You all right? Didn't call him Shagger or anything. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I thought he did have. <laughs> Fuck, that was good, wasn't it? And that's when he goes, oh, hello, you all right? And he goes, um... He goes, oh, I hear you want to buy a fire blade. I've got one for sale. I went, you, <laughs> like, you know, and you're like, oh, for fuck's sake. There's where you go. There, the bubble popped straight oh, away. Mate. So I'm still totally employable in that regard, but that was good. That might be. Like, How old are you now? How old am I now? I don't like talking about his age. No, no. Don't, I'll, I'll tell you what, Chrissy, Chrissy Rouse, 
chuck me under the bus with him massively. So if you, you are listening to this, he did, didn't you? Exactly. <laughs> no, no comment. What do you mean, no comment? Was, he he massively chucked me under the bus. Massively chucked me under the bus. And he chucked me under the bus, Chrissy. I couldn't believe it. Do you not like him in age away then? Nah. I'm Let's like, move. Oh, no, I'm, I'm going to be the Chris Walker of motorcycle race, and that's me next. So obviously you're a bit I, emotional about it. So you're probably a bit older than anybody thinks. <laughs> I think we should talk about his 130. No, let's not talk about that yet. I like can the we, celebration. No, 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 can we, it's like you won the world championship. Mate, Should be doing one thirty this fucking time. I did one in 07. Yeah, but I'm on a bike. Slowing down for the pits. Yeah, but that's because he can do it. You know what I mean? <laughs> fucking hell. I'll tell you what, right? Let's talk. Let's go, let's go, let's go back. Okay, now that we've got that good. can of worms. Let's, was, no, no, I'll tell you what. Let's hey, talk about the can of worms. Did, I know, the shoulders, the shoulders are back here. Now, he did very well. You know, you, know, you know, the respectable thing. Now, the, what's mad is, you know, when you meet people and they always talk about meeting their heroes and everything in that regard. And then they're going, oh, I've beaten so-and-so, I've beaten so-and-so, I've beaten so-and-so. And I feel like you shouldn't do that. You know what I mean? If they're your hero, you shouldn't be You shouldn't be doing that. That's how I see it. But it's like, last year, you broke me heart because I beat you last year. <laughs> no, no. Mm-hmm. But you weren't John. This is the conversation that we started off. And right, that's right. the thing. You shouldn't, you shouldn't be jumping on the spot. Like, I beat... Like Rutter last year, I beat Hutchie last year. You know, I beat Hilly in a few races, but that's that's like duct tape and Tyson's arms behind the back. It doesn't count. No, then it no, gets I a punch. No, I wouldn't play it down as bad no, as no, that. No, 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 but going. no, 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 but no, but in the same breath though. <clears> but it, you know what's great about this year is the fact that it was just back to how it was. Hmm. You know what I mean? And I was only a second off you in that scene year before. I'm going to stop I was you only a on. second off you, and I'm like. Were you? Mate, a second behind oh, you, and I'm going. Stato, yeah. And he was, he was. Uh, oh, my dad, my dad's like you in of your family, but I'm like, this is just. So you brought down on lap two. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, did lap well, one. On lap one, you were one second behind me. Yeah, so I did 129.8 from a sound start. So I was trying to tramp on a bit. I was just about that. to say to you, you do spaff some bollocks at, <laughs> at times, and what you just said about last year, I'm going to say that was. That that was you spaffing bollocks there. No, we mean well. no, no, because no, everyone was in the same boat, weren't they? Of course, yeah, some no, people were riding yeah, better no, than others. Off, you've got to take the fucking off, credit where you. Fuck off! No <laughs> way! Look, come on! You know what I mean? It, it, what happened to your bike? He woke up and just went. Oh, dear, it's good, mate. That'll do. Oh fucking hell! Everyone's going quick. You know what I mean? Now he's come back. He's he's leaner. He's faster. I tell you what. Let's leaner. Go, no, no, he is. He's fucking leaner. I'm a bit leaner. I'm a bit leaner. He's a bit leaner. How did that gym? How did the gym? Gym episodes work out for you when you were? Five in the morning. Like Terrible. Care, I went a few, a few times. times you? Yeah. I went a few times, but it's just pain. It's immediate pain. <laughs> immediate laugh. <laughs> well, it's just unhappiness, isn't it? I, t- I, t- I tell you, I, 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 I can't. I, I can't I'm not even going into it. It's just not fun. I will. Right, I will. Well, great. Yeah, but you've had but all this I'll ride an enduro out. bike till I'm blue in face. No problem. I'll pick it up, lift it, get in a bog, go for a river. I, I'll ride one till I'm. I can't. I don't think anyone's ever questioned now, your bike fitness, though. My bike fitness is good. It's always been Seriously, that's yeah. going back to when the bike, the fuel pump bust on the Honda and I got the marshals to push it back. Because pushing a bike is horrible. Riding it's easy. Pushing the bastard, forget it. <laughs> You've only got little so, legs, haven't you? I know, I've got, I can't touch You've got long body and little legs. I can't touch yeah. on my Honda. I can't, I, honestly. I have to say to him, just keep all of it till I'm actually, you know, when somebody hands you a bike, I, I'll tell him to keep all of it a bit because I've, a few times I've nearly gone on my hand, especially that electric bike. That's it's a big stubby leg. I dropped that. <laughs> dropped that electric bike a few Did years you? ago in 2014, and one of the Jap snipers threw his cell under it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he threw his cell under the bike, <laughs> so he didn't damage it. <laughs> it was like, <laughs> he's underneath him. <it. laughs> <laughs> the funny noises. <laughs> Sweat wedged under the quarter of a ton Mugen. <laughs> <laughs> I was just standing. Like, oh, sorry, but I full no. suicide job. <laughs> oh my god, I love it. no, but like no, but seriously, your bike fitness. I I want to go even further back before the Northwest, and we can talk a lot about the Northwest. But you were the fastest rider in a super like in stock thousand road rider in front of Hillier, in front of Nathan, in front of like you know what I mean, like Jamie mm. Cowan, like everyone, you know what I mean? you've come out oh, in the BSB. box in BSB. I he was the, he was the top road. Yeah, I was not. Mm. It was Lee I... Johnson on the six hundred who was like in mm. positions wise testing yeah. everything. <clears throat> Spain, yeah, fair enough. It, hey, that doesn't really count in my head. But when he came back to British soil, mm. John, you you totally turned it on its head because people who were. In front of you last year, this is what I'm talking about, the whole spaff and shy thing. This John's turn round. This is John. 
I yeah. looked at the times from <laughs> yeah. Alton, I think. It was free practice in Alton, and mm. you were like, you were 12th or something, and it's... you were a lump ahead of the next mm. uh, the next road. I, I know. Every, I, everything was good. I enjoyed it. You know, I just, uh, do you know what I thought to myself? I, I've, I've forgotten how to ride a motorbike. I do shy. You know, you don't, and the age is, the age is a problem if you hit the ground. Mm. It takes a bit to recover, doesn't it? But the actual putting the bike in the right place on the right time and piecing it all together, there's, there's no reason why you can't. Do you, Jeremy McWilliams is doing it at 59. Do you think any of like your, do you feel like any of your reaction to slowing down a bit? Or do you do you th- get back and think, fucking hell? Uh, is there I don't any think my reactions are slowing down. If I chucked just... a tenner on the floor, he'd catch it. He'd hit it on the it. back of his head. If you chucked five pay down. on the floor, he'd dive on it. <laughs> Talk about your man jumping under that mugen. <laughs> Absolutely, I found, 15, <laughs> I found fifteen pence at Brands Hatch on the Monday. One of there, I bent down for three five pences. I would all day. Uh, <clears throat> I'd, have a wheel, when you I'd have a wheelbarrow like full of five p's. You know, people are not on five pence. You'd have a wheelbarrow full. <laughs> Damn right, so. three. Yeah, it's fucking hopeless. But it? Uh, <laughs> love it. Lost my train of thought. Uh, about, about your age and like, just feel yeah, like react- you... reactions are probably the same. It's just a. I give myself a little bit more space, really. Right. You know, I mean, I had to go from the back row at, Brands- at Alton Park. I didn't qualify. A little bit of a mistake from the team. They put the wrong tyre in there. Everybody held their hands up, blah, blah, blah. And I didn't qualify. I was like, this is, I've never not qualified for a race in my life. And then I was on my own row, 40 or something, which is which is actually a separate row. So I was like, I loved it. I was like, anyway, I thought I'll just ride the bike, you know, ride the bike, enjoy it, pass as many as I can. And I did, I passed end up 20th and you go 20th and you go that's you look at the you know how it is in superstar you go to, but to your layman you go 20th wanker he's shit but for me I did 38 so much fast as I've ever been around there people go Job. home I, they're British yeah. that, that's the thing you know you're talking yeah. about people that don't qualify you know what I mean it's pack like, the van up and go home yeah, they, they, yeah. They, like, look son you're not quick enough yeah. that, that, the people and the thing is people listen to the, like Chris's pod and everything like that and they go they understand the depth mm. of that so to finish 20th mm. from the back good is outstanding yeah Connor was in the points he can run a short circuit okay. and uh, Nathan scored his first points he was 15th I was 20th you know the, actually went faster than Nathan so again you've got to dissect it as a rider aren't you like looking at all the things well, I went, actually went a little bit quicker than Nathan but didn't score a point so I knew I was in a decent place and when it when I went to Northwest, I just went with the old attitude was get get on with it you know mm. get on with it ride the bike and another year with the team helped I know I've been, it's been with Honda years and years, but genuinely, uh, I found it slightly harder to adapt to the new generation of bikes. You know, when I was at my best, they had throttle cables. You know, 17 first flyby wire, got injured, 18 cylinder, 19 Norton, mess, mess, old mess, mess, you know, COVID mess, rode the Ducati, great. Back, first time back on the superbike, it's totally different. Mm. You know the how the engine braking works, all the air bleed, all of they're, they're complicated. Yeah, and everybody thinks I've been around forever and ever, and, and which I have. But oh, I'll just take to like Doctor War, but it did, took a bit of time. You've been through some evolutions of bike. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. two know. two strokes with yeah. jets and needles and carbs and plug chops doing plug chops. Probably nobody has had any idea what a plug chop is, plug but chop is, well, yeah. you've done it. Yeah, yeah you know, but <laughs> yeah. you know, and looking at colours of piston cylinders. I mean, you know, from a two fifty to a to a 500, to a Grand Prix, to, so, you know, four strokes with carburetors, four strokes with fuel injected, four strokes now with fly by wires. So I've ridden traction control bikes and I've ridden BS Modern, BSB stuff. So, like, it took me a bit to get used to it and I didn't like the bike last year. I didn't didn't quite gel with it at all. I mean. Is the rawness of racing becoming, like, it's becoming less for you? No, I still enjoy it. Not for you, I mean, no. in general, you know, with all the traction here, it's all the, you know, the engine brake, well, all these rider aids. Is it is that taking away the rawness of race? A little bit, but it's yeah. not really, for what we do, It's there is no traction, is there? And there's no, mm. like BSB is so good because they've got the rules right, haven't they? They've got, yes. they're all on the control the ECU and they can only open so many parameters of it and stuff. So that really works where wheel suit bikes, I mean, it's shite, isn't it? Mm. Because it's, it's, you know, it's, money it's it's controlled by bikes and electronics where a BSB race or a, a BM can win, a Kawasaki might just be out still when a Ducati can win, you know. So but it 
that that transition took me a little bit of time. You know, when you when you do that, it doesn't. That isn't what he's doing. He's telling. He's doing what he wants to do. He's mm. doing what the well, the computer's telling, well, telling it to do. You know, like I always like one to one because yeah. I could feel feel everything through my ass and my feet and everything else. I just knew it like back in my hand. So like now I'm I'm understanding it. It actually took me a while. And we I'm, changed the bike a little bit from last year to this year. Suitor swing arm, Multic Electronics. So we did change quite a few bits and made it a little bit of an easier package for me to understand. You seemed, you seemed, because we spent a bit of time at Donington, didn't we, before, and you seemed, I remember leaving and saying to Zoe, like, you seemed chilled out. Mm. Just seemed happy, like, yeah. made me feel better. <clears throat> knowing you, was in, you just seemed in a much happier, chilled out, like, you, there was no... Yeah. I enjoyed it. Uh, yeah. I genuinely enjoyed every minute of being on my bike. Good. At the Northwest, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed the TT. Uh, <clears throat> which is what we all went racing for. It's supposed to enjoy it. You know, it's it's tough at times. There's a lot going on. I've always been in that world where, you know, in the high in the highlight of it, you know, the pff, top end of it, and it sometimes gets a bit frustrating. And I have to kick myself sometimes. You know, I've got to do an interview, I've got to do this, but do you know what? Yeah, do it, just do it, and just. But when you do, you know that bit. There's nobody in your ear all then. You're on the bike, and you, you know whatever's changed in the paddock, like it or lump it, the track's still the same. That grass bank has been there. And somebody built a grass bank in 1850 for, to fucking cover his garden. That's still there. That ain't moving. So nothing's changed on the tracks. It's still that challenging bit that's that's the most satisfying. But I did enjoy it. You know the the. You know, Ewan works for Monster now, my boy. Uh, Maisie's 13, so she's the characters coming out of her. You know, it's tough on the missus at times, I would imagine. Uh, you know, sometimes you can be a prick, you know, yourself. You've both been there. We can be a bit short-tempered and stuff. But the bot, the whole lot of it was good for me. Really, really good. I really enjoyed it. I mean, the weather makes it and everything else. And Did, it, but, did the track, was the, I think, obviously, I didn't go over. Did it, for both of you, was yeah. it just exceptional? Epic, yeah. Epic. The track was, I mean, I tell you, it was too hot. It got greasy and all that, lot, but bollocks, you know, fucking lap records were getting battered. And was there anywhere that they've changed and resurfaced that was noticeably? You went through it on that first night and thought, yeah, oh, Tower Bends, fucking beautiful. Tower Bends is mega. You know that out of waterworks up through that right left, and it always had a horrible bump yeah, that yeah. pinged you towards that stone wall. That's gone through there. So that was I hated that corner. I was like, oh, that's mint. But it's it's that good and that smooth. You feel like you're floating on air. So it's, you've always had that, you always get that feeling. Now it all of a sudden just goes. And then you go back to the original stuff again. Yeah. And the Sobe straight, they, they did a patch down there. So it was just like. <laughs> for about three seconds, then back on the floor. Right. So it was like, it was like. A windy corner. It was like getting a. Yeah, windy was like full knee down, scratch, bit of camber, like full on into there. Have they resurfaced that? Resurfaced it. Nice. The wind was always coming, pushing you yeah, in as yeah, well. Yeah. So it was and always going into the thirty second there, but there was like a bump, bump there, but the it way, didn't yeah. actually. There did used to be a bump going in, yeah. Well, they took them out. This is it's bad, but well, not bad. Yeah, but it's soft putting into it. It, it is all because you go into it and it just. Whoop. And they took the Marshall box away from the from the yeah. peeling in point, so the Marshall box had gone. You know the one you on the right. Points gone. Yeah, it's like well, where's the box gone? And you're like, <laughs> oh fuck, you're hooking here. <laughs> I, I found I found thirty second quite hard actually. When yeah. you brought that up, I never got it right. I was always making fifty pence in it. Like, I had little adjustments everywhere, all the way around that corner. I struggled a little bit. And it's fast through there. Mm, it is quick through there. Isn't it? It? I was always in between fourth and fifth gear, and I can't remember why I used to go around that corner. In. Well, you did. You've done it in fourth, and then you did it in fifth, so. and then you went back to fourth again. I tried it in fifth, but it never really held the line. And didn't didn't mm. turn as good. But like, fifth. as you come out of Brandish, uh, but not Brandish, is it the? Bungalow, you got the right, left. What's the left goal? Brandywell. Brandywell. Yeah, yeah. It's like it's like you got a turbocharger, <laughs> isn't it? Because you're going downhill. Oh, da, I... da, 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 and you get around that right kink, and I was coming back for and it was always a bit revvy into there, so I never really got it got it right at all. I was always pretty crap through there, and one lap thumb up in the race passed me out of there, so I knew I had shit drive on the way out. So you just just drilled me towards a windy corner. But like you know, yeah, they're making track improvements, but there's not a single year where they haven't made improvements. So they've always re a section, but I think particularly up on the mountain, like that, that climb up the mountain mm. was obviously massively beneficial, right? Mm. Well, it was, wasn't it? You know, because the lap times, when you're fighting a physical hill mm. and everything's a lot smoother, you're going to go faster. I just find it funny, funny. Not, not, I've not got a problem with any of it. I just find it 
bizarre that we all think Ginger Alter Ramsey's okay. If them bumps were at Crosby, we'd be going up the fucking wall, wouldn't we? Because <laughs> it's part of the Because it's part of the, the you know, the, the section, isn't it? Yeah, yeah you just think, oh, we're on the bumpy bit now, so it's fine. Well, if them bumps, they move them bumps. Anywhere else, it's not Oh, yeah. Well, that's where my crash was at the end of there, wasn't it? Yeah, <laughs> for me, unacceptable. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you're right, though. You're right. You know, if they put yeah, a bump you... somewhere else in the course, everyone would be up in yeah, arms. Yeah, they'd be up yeah. in arms. If them bumps were like anywhere else, signposts. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> oh, it's the, you know, it's, it's the, the romance. Bit. It's the romance of the track, isn't it? Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. we've got this bit to come. It's like the whoop section of a supercross track. You might hate it, but you get on with it, don't you? <laughs> you just batter your way through it, and you actually don't mind it at all. But if you could change one one sector, what would you change? None. Just leave it as it is. One bit. Leave it as it is. Someone held a gun. I'm going to hold a gun at gun at you and can't. You have to change one bit. White gears. Really? <laughs> don't know why. It's I been re- it. it's, it's be- I don't understand why there's patches of dust all the way around the racing line. Every why year. the fuck not make the race? It's on the inset. Well, you know, you know, yeah, like, yeah, you know yeah, when you come yeah, up, it's where yeah, the part yeah. of the cars, and isn't it? It's just like just what? like somebody's just gone. Shit, shit, shit. I get it because it's full of oil or whatever, but it's horrible. I hate that corner. And you always feel like you're going to tuck the front and end up in them bales. Then there's that little bit of curve that's about that high just comes out and bites you up the ass every every <laughs> that, it? Yeah, I don't like schoolhouse. That bomb going to schoolhouse this year was that that appeared. That wasn't there last year. Yeah, Nick, I've yeah. got I've got a photo of my back wheel off the ground there. Just just not not in it. The going into it that, oh, on yeah. the braking bit. You like fifth and you just like change down to fourth. And there's like a big braking bump that's arrived there. But I which, thought the exit was worse. Yeah, the exit. You know when you you know between the layby and the. The, mm. Just that little bit there, honestly, you could just. The good thing about the weather, you know, even going back, the, the 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 biggest thing this year that made it safer was consistency. Obviously, you know, we've had you know Raul Torre, um, mm. you know, he was yeah. the only incident, um, this year, but you know, the consistency with the weather, everyone had time to think. Mm. I've got tomorrow. I've got tomorrow. Yeah. I've got tomorrow. Because last year, the year, but was it five? We lost five mm. last year. The See, year prior, and you didn't get six days of rain that six. washed it across, and mm. it's changed again for the next day, and it didn't rain during the night. You yeah, get the nail on the head there, though, because the, the atmosphere in the paddock was chilled from the riders straight away because they, they looked at the forecast, thought it looks good, so everybody just kicked back. The way it started on Monday, Bosch, Tuesday, Bosch, Monday, after, Monday, free practice, qualifying afternoon, low sun, perfect. Wait, and the first session was untimed. Untimed, yeah. First, the first four laps was untimed. Perfect, isn't it? So, so everybody just fed themselves into it. But yeah, yeah. we were, all, you know, we all camped together and and whatnot, and everybody was just horizontal, yeah, chilled out. Bloody yeah. was, it was honestly, it was chilled because we knew we were going to get plenty of practice. And Cause how, um, many, how many laps of practice? Well, bearing up, you were on the two bikes, but like, mm. um, we've in. Com- a lot of people got eight laps on the first night. Mm. I only mean, got four. Yeah, more than four, through, yeah. through choice. Uh, well, we've touched base on that one at the start. Oh, I'd like yeah. a six hundred. Yeah, and, <laughs> but it, it's a separate session, you see. Right. Yeah, yeah. So we could. I could only get four in, even if mm. no matter what, it's two and two and two. So I tell you what, quick, frustrating. But quickly going back to that, is a six hundred crucial to go faster on the TT? Or do you feel like... Well, everybody that won races rode 600s this year. There we are. No, you're right. No, you're right. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? But yeah, like, I... to the listeners, it'll be interesting to see... Other people have why. done it. Steve Islock come and dominated both Superbike races in 1994 just with an RC45. He didn't ride anything else. Yeah, Steve uh, <laughs> he, he... <laughs> Would it probably make any difference to... to Hickey? Probably not. You know, if he just had four rides and... He would go as fast ones in. I think the results would probably be the same. It's just the fact that it's a separate session. You get one bite of the cherry to do the TT a year, so you just want to grab everything really. And, and yeah, yeah. You know, sometimes it's you're knackered. It's tiring. It is hard, but uh, I don't know. It, yeah, you can't. Sometimes you, if somebody's offering you a cream bun, then you're gonna take it out. You know, even if you don't want it, you want. It. You don't want it. If, you, if you're full, you. <laughs> yeah, well, I'll say, well, if somebody offers you a sweetie, you're not gonna say it, no, are you? Um, so it's just dangling carrots that you can't take. But like I say, no regrets. No, no regrets for me. I'm, I'm, I'm happy with the way mm. my TT went, and that you know. You know when you like um I'm trying to remember the exact number, but I think like Dunlop did over oh, uh, like thirty two laps in practice leading Jesus. up to the first race. Now don't quote me on that. I know it was definitely over I think it was definitely in the thirties anyway. 
in your opinion, can you do too many laps in practice? Mm. You know, when you're just talking about the thing, you know, like the cram and the quick, you're thumbing in a softy at that point, aren't you? You know what I mean? You're still getting the job done. <laughs> no, but in your opinion, no, but I like, think that I only got I think nine laps. times out of ten. <laughs> A lot of the time, you have problems, don't you? Mm. I think that the top guys this year somehow didn't have any problems, did they? <clears throat> Everybody was just battering around and around and around. And is it too much? Probably at times it's risky, you know. I always think... Take the risk element totally out of it. Yeah. You know, risk and reward element. Mm. You know, as far as like... No, you can never have too many laps then. There we are. If yeah. You're going to be safe and there's no risk in it. Fuck me, you'd going, be going around all day, wouldn't you? Go, yeah. You keep going all day, you know, because there's no substitute for being on your bike. No. And it's weird. You, it doesn't matter how tired you are, how you feel, you find energy. It's like doing an endurance race, 24 hour endurance race. I mean, you must be sat in here for 24 hours doing nothing, you'd be knackered. But if you do nine hours each on a bike as well in the middle of that, but you find it, you just find yeah. the power and the strength. It's, it's something that's inside you that you can't explain. So, um, you know, I didn't do the warm-up laps before the super bike race because I wanted to be a little bit <clears throat> sharper. I felt last year that in the first 100 start race, I did the warm-up lap and then I felt tired at the end of that race. You know, you get so, that big adrenaline dump, don't you? And then you're um, like, hey, and then you've got to get it all going again, haven't you? Yeah, it, it's, it's a bit marmite, that warm-up lap, you know. What, what's your take on that? <laughs> no, no, because you know what, my, my yeah. I, like... I'll give you mine, but yeah. like you don't push the same, you know. Like we've changed the like you know we we yeah. we, we struggled. We only got eleven laps in practice, and we were struggling for a setup and stuff. But I went out for a warm up lap on the the first, before the su first super sport, and I just went. I'm just not pushing the same. Mm. It's a bit like oh, I don't blow me bike. Don't knock this. Is yeah. I don't want. It. Now the argument is always the same that oh if your bike's gonna go, it's gonna go on the warm up. Never mind the race, but. I'd rather mm. break me bike in a race. There's a bit something but a bit not, more. Yeah. No, no. Not even there's something. The but there's something a bit yeah, more yeah. noble about that. And well, you know, I was racing. You yeah. Know, it's it, but that, my, that, my stocker might have finished the race. If I hadn't done the warm up lap on it. Who yeah, knows? Eh? You know, it, it might not have had the fuel pump as a, as a lap away from breaking. But if me auntie had a cock, she'd be she'd be my uncle. Wouldn't she? <laughs> you know, you, how do you, you beat me to that no, one? Uh, <laughs> I was going right. to give you that one. How do you do it, uncle dear? It's. Because the track time's there, you want to use it, but I bet deep down you're not bothered. You know, if somebody said to you, there's no practice like you go, oh, that's all right. You'll be huffing, would you? You go, <laughs> fuck for that, you know, I'm ready. Because we did it for years and years, we just jumped on the bike and raced. But like Hickey did, there's a lap of Hickey's that went under the radar before the senior. He did 1640, 1640, something from a standing start. On a warm-up lap? On a warm-up lap. That was like 135, just about. And that put him in the spot probably to win that senior TT, you know. So, and he did 35-3, didn't he, for standing start, I think. 35 summit. But that warm-up lap helped that. How hard do you think he's pushing? Hard. I think he is. He's, I've seen a lot of what, pictures where he's in the... He, he's hard, yeah. This, he's this in year. the barriers, he's in the curbs, he's yeah. bouncing off walls. He's, he's had loads of brake issues. A bit like Toddy had loads of brake issues and Connor didn't have any brake issues. You know, it's weird, isn't it? I mean, different styles just shows you that... You know, how much bar they're pulling through that lever where it's, it's not, you know, it's, it's I don't know. I, I mean, he's, he's not shy sliding like, that thing. Like records, on, he's on a super stock bike, 36, 3 or whatever. That's on a road bike. Mental. But, with carbon wheels. Well. Another kind of worms. Uh, uh, <laughs> Is that what was in it? Yeah. Well, you're allowed there. Well, you're, you? you're allowed. Well, <laughs> no, that's just an interesting point because it was obviously such a big thing for the Northwest. Oh, mate, we've got yeah, so we've got. The, they pulled out because of the carbon wheel issue, didn't they? Where they were told they were it was a super stock race. You have to leave the bikes stock. The argument was you can't run carbon wheels. It clearly states in the rules you can't run carbon wheels. Mm. But I don't think it's quite as easy as just changing them, is it? They're quite involved. I don't do know. That, I think they, they, you know, the the Tyco bike had alley wheels in it, didn't it? But so they, what, they dropped they dropped a clanger, a massive clanger, because they said it was a twenty two bike. Now the problem with the twenty two bike, who did? Tass, so on air, right? On air, they said, Oh, it's a twin. Is this is this all lip, lift you to ripping? Is it could be, yeah, but it's just, be, the, just the a lot of going. Through here, yeah, just be a, be a big uh, Chinook. anyway. But so when the result came through, and obviously, you know, um, FHO left because you could buy the Gen 5 
you could sorry you can get alley wheels for the gen 5 but you can't physically get a hold of them they haven't made them for the bike yet but as far as a drop listing when you buy the bike you can purchase them but you're unable to so that's why they didn't have the wheels so when you go back to the situation with Alice Cecilie getting in the races with the alley wheels they said they were gen 4 bikes 2022 bikes but the aero packet is off a gen, gen 5, five. so um, hold on <laughs> they've changed mate there's that, that it's, it's to be honest just, it, it's bad it is it's 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 poor form there's a like the the northwest in my opinion was just, it was it was a difficult difficult meeting a very very difficult meeting it, it because i thought it was good <laughs> No, but it's, no, but the thing is, what I what I speak about is I'm not I'm not having a witch hunt against the Northwest. Mm. I worry about the sport, John. Mm. I'd, you are twice the fan of mm. me as a road race fan. We love road racing, but what I shit myself over is that word, the witch hunt element. Mm. And the problem is, if you have big, massive, the world's biggest event in Northern Ireland, mm. and a few, there's a lot of questions that need answering. And sometimes do they need answering, but they needs we're in a world of like you have to you have to r- release the right statement, you have to do mm. this, you have to do that. But the difficult thing is, it's like when one of the major teams is turning up to an event where they didn't they should have known that they need like the carbon yeah. wheel situation. Internally, that event sh- that should have been sorted out even before mm. they get there, never mind being sorted at that event. You know, there's too many finger pointing mm. situations here. But you're right. Uh, it, it's you are you are right, and uh, you but know, I worry about. I well, worry about the, the, the problem is that the racing in Ireland's on its knees. Yeah, and it's just getting another one in the knackers for no reason whatsoever. Because fuck me, what does it? Who gives a fuck what wheels are in it? To be exactly. fair, exactly. Somebody somewhere, the powers that be said, let them reuse it. Yeah, mm. let them use it. And we'll readdress it somehow. Well, yeah, we'll have a conversation you know what I mean? afterwards. Yeah. Like there's yeah. somebody's paid his bulk, somebody's da, 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 the sponsors yeah. have put the money and everybody's there and then all they want all they want to see is that factory BMW going around the track. Of course. They're not interested if it's got pink wheels in it or yeah. wheels made of dog shit. People have got go around the track. It has to go around. I mean I know it's it could be a bit of arrogance from the team, it could be a bit of we're bigger than this, but I d I don't know. I, I don't know. Egos, I've no idea. But at the end of the day, it's Bad for the sport. It, it, it needs. They, to pull I think they should have rode the super bikes. Put the super stock bikes in the thing. Ride your super bikes. Yeah, you know, the pulling it all down in the middle of the paddock and loading up and all that lot, and, and not then, everybody firing fucks into each other left, right, and centre. It's not good for the job. No, it's not good for the job, and that's the thing. And like I say, it's it's. And then the Dunlop situation wasn't actually a statement released from Dunlop Tires. You know, that was another back burner mm. against Dunlop Tires in that mm. regard. And you think that's no mm. good. And then the incident with like Lee. You know, obviously, gonna... first of all, you know, it's it's great to see Lee. You know, he's put posts out on his social media. You know, he's back at home, and we're going to ask about the McDonald's. <laughs> crack soon I don't know what's going on there which is great crack but you know Lee had a, a major incident in the fact that you know he, he was named critical when uh, so he was named non-critical when he was critical and you think and there's been breakdown mm. communications now don't not get me wrong it's so easy it's a blame culture again you've done this wrong you've done that wrong but Do you know it's what, been a wake not, in my really, opinion it's, it's really been a wake up call it's really fucking easy don't open your mouth and start typing know. things exactly and press and enter because I know when I had mine someone said oh, he's just hurt his leg he's fine he's exactly. hurt his leg and then that that it's just like alright fine no worries the bloke's fucking snapped suppose, enough, you know. I suppose a lot of times you don't need to say anything they don't need to say anything no news is good news they don't need to say anything it, that that is exactly my point. There's been massive communication breakdowns mm. by sometimes the best communication is none at all. Mm. You know, we're there to race bikes. You know, why does shit have to unfold under there? It's I just worry about the thing is a we massive are, event we in the northwest. I don't think I saw a checkered flag in that race. I don't think I went over the line once with a checkered flag. Right? I don't uh, think yeah. so. I think there's a lot of red flag, which has to be at times, you know, but yeah. Last year it went, it would done at R3, wasn't it? And you got six races in last year and everybody was in the pub at four o'clock. Well, this year there was a few bits and pieces, but I don't know. I wouldn't want that job for all the teen China. I no, wouldn't no. want to try and run that lot. That's why I'm just a minion bike racer. I don't like getting involved in all that. No, no, I totally agree. But then it's like, the thing is, sometimes you've got to start, like Chrissy was a massive believer in that. And like, it's, 
like I say, it's not a witch hunt, far from it, but it has been a wake up call to everyone in road racing. Mm-hmm. And I mean, that's the fans, the riders, and the event organizers, because even people track invasions, people trying to get on track when the mm-hmm. roads are still closed, and you're thinking, what is going on? And it's yeah. just. It worries me there's a bit of the old football culture creeping Aye. in, and, I, and that's the maybe. worst possible thing that could happen to this sport. Maybe, maybe, they're, not, they're, not, maybe they're not true fans, they're just having a weekend away out in Chris, <clears> you know, that's, that's in Northern Ireland, aren't they? Which is, well, I think social I media opens the job up for, for people being assholes and being gobshites and and that brings that football fan element into it and then the physical side of people doing exactly what you're saying there you know just causing fucking problems i don't know I, it, one of the eyes one of the i thought was the uh highlight of it was did you see that on social media that bird riding that bloke on the cliff side my god yeah <laughs> did some, you see i that? didn't see I mean, that. That. I mean, that went everywhere i'll tell you what some bloke went to work that day and <laughs> you seen this? And some poor blokes had to look at that and go, that's my Tiffany, that. <laughs> <laughs> there's, a bird, there's a bird riding a bloke in, on, on the, the golf grass. Course. You know where John crashed? <laughs> Somewhere oh. else. All you can hear is, whoa, whoa, but it's going fast. This, this lass is riding this bloke. <laughs> I'm just like, <laughs> absolute <laughs> perfect, that one, yeah. <laughs> but I was, I don't, I don't know. I, 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 yeah, it's... It, it's just, it just robbed the event of, of got, two... You know, class act BSB TT champions, and it should have been resolved in a different way. And it should have never have got to a start line exactly. Thursday night. You know, yeah. fucking hell, how did it get to that point? You know, but, but is, that, is that, somebody protesting? Is somebody? I don't know. I don't understand that, it. I've never protested anybody in my life. I don't. I don't understand. It just wanted that situation that just, managing, didn't it? And that was simple as that, and it didn't. Mm. But like, that's the thing. No rider ever gets fed up with riding a bike. You just said that. Mm. You know what I mean? You get. You know, you can get knocked a little bit by the little things around but when you put the helmet strap on and that's mm. all you want to do is just put your lid on and go racing every team wants to go in there and race and it's just all this internal like 212 shite. mile an hour eh? 212 mile an hour he did Josh on yeah. the superbike at North West 212 fucking hell that's covering some ground isn't it mm. that is motoring <laughs> that tailwind one was it Tuesday night or something Jesus Did you see that? No, like, no, yeah. I, yeah, I just ended up watching Did, me, didn't I? Oh, yeah, you didn't have a yeah, yeah. great time. Yeah. <laughs> Do you want to br- yeah. we'll brush over that one, shall we? No, no, but... Like, yeah, you've had a rough time, haven't you? You've had a rough time. And it's not good, is it? Racing is not a nice place to be when it's not going good. I've got my eye back. You know, that, that's well, it. Yeah, that, yeah. <laughs> but it's not... No, no, I know. It's been... It's, it's been I know a... you, you You have this persona, but the inside, you weren't in a good place for you. I know you, you're chest out and you're laughing and joking about it. No, it But would... genuinely... When it's not working, yeah, it's, it's shit in it. You want the ground to swallow you, don't it? Yeah, yeah, you know, you're not wrong. And I was on a note and hated it every second of it, and it's embarrassing. Mm. It's embarrassing. You know, it's just be it's a shit just... place to be, but it shouldn't be. But you no, know, but I would... you still it's got your one thirty though. Did you know yeah. when you'd done your one thirty? Did you know you'd done it? And I don't mean did you have a dash on? Did you do the lap yeah, and like, think that was that was no like that uh, was the one? Like I went I went in the lap six and I like always listen to my dad's advice going look you know just make this clean you know what I mean just mm. go out and and then like I was back I tell you what that, that'll that'll live with me for the rest of my life and I I got to race a MotoGP rider on a MotoGP bike around the world's greatest circuit and I tell you what getting in behind that RCV could you hear your bike behind no, it? Th- Nothing. John, you go deaf, don't you? I've been mm. behind that. Not you lose all, you lose all and disorient, you're disorientated when you're behind it. You just really? can't hear your motor, nothing. nothing. It literally, there's no. that much vibration coming from mm. that, you know, the exhaust power, it's buffering the bike. You can't even mm. feel your engine running. It's amazing. It's weird. It's it weird, though. utterly amazing. You're literally going off like, you're just tapping, you know, out of like body instinct. Yeah, you go, yeah, yeah. change gear. I don't yeah. know why, but just change just gear. Feel. Honestly, 100%. Can't but there's no feel. There was literally nothing. nothing. It was just dead space. It was cool. incredible. And then I passed Rutter and then, this is why I love Rutter, because only like three years ago, three, four years ago, he was winning stock thousand races. You know what I mean? You don't switch off being able to ride a motorcycle. That boy can race a bike. Age has got nothing to do with it. And I passed him, normal race etiquette, TT is let them go, not Rutter. <laughs> he will cut the nose off you, he'll sit you up, he'll dig it, and I'm like, I am having... <laughs> a six lap battle with a motor GP he'll right away. You see, he'll hit you, caught him. <laughs> mate, 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 honestly, it was and like he's that. blind as well, so he's probably just. Oh, <laughs> mate, I've got. Thinks what... he's not as close as he. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I just remember going like that and just passing him back and doing this and doing that, and I just, I'm like, this he's is passing just... a motor GP back, and he said he's back shit. 
my bike only did 181 mile an hour down the speed trap behind you probably, him, rolled, off. You probably rolled off behind the Mate, I like it. Time, timing beacon end at Sulby. Not a fucking chance. I was stretching the shit out of it. Put it in comparison. You know, you know. Um, we'll even get on the six hundreds in a minute. But um, Michael Dunlop's R six is only nine mile an hour slower than my thousand cc. <laughs> you know. But all like I'm on the S thousand, so mine's a twenty twenty two bike. Did you learn out of Michael? Loads. That is vicious. <laughs> <laughs> no, but like, no, he's great. No, no, totally safe. You know what I mean? But the thing is, he's reminded us that we are racing. So you passed him and he's come back. I know, and then back and forth, back and forth. Right. And then coming on the last lap, I just, I ran on at end of Sobey, end of Sobey. And he went and I went, shit, I've lost him now. Like totally lost him. And then came up the mountain and I've like caught him and I'm going, he's a 131 man. And he's, you know, he's in the groove. He's sitting in. Mm. And I, I closed back in on him coming down, like, coming back to the start line. I went, if, so that, if if that's not a 130 lap. And that's still running on at Solby. Like, and that, like, I ran it? on. I ran 30. on 30.2, wasn't it? 30.2. And I just went, I, I went, if I, like. It's about 17, 17, 22-ish. 22, 22, yeah. 17, 17. So when I. Stat, man. <laughs> right. Well, when I panic, when I panic called you. I, I needed to find 32 seconds. <laughs> You're not finding that overnight. Not with 189 mile an hour motorbike mate, either. Mate, right. oh, just, it's just, oh, just, oh. what, what was that Honda yours doing in 07 when you did a 130? That 170. I do, I do, I do think about it. I do I don't think, think like, I don't like, think there was a speed track down there. I don't think that. What will that make? 175 no, mile horsepower? Bit more, like a bit more. 190 ish, maybe, would it? There you are. So, we, like, that, that's the thing. It just shows that you don't need all the power, like, you know, yeah. to do but it. Really. Soul 7 bike were fantastic. And them narrow tyres, them narrow Dunlops that steered were really, oh, really the, good. The pyramid not, No, not the 364s, not the triangle ones. But they were just, a, they were 190 millimetres, so they were just used to steer really good. And, uh, nice bike, that. Lovely bike. You had a go on it, didn't I you? I rode it a good yeah. one, yeah. Beautiful but it had thing. different crank, different rods, pistons. But so the much space on it. I don't yeah. stand for like a wee shite like you with your little bumpy <laughs> legs. You got on that thing, and I, f- I had loads mm. of room on it, didn't I? I said yeah. to you as soon as I got on, I said, fucking hell, there's loads of room on this thing. Yeah, I had big just, bars. Yeah. Big bars, low pegs. Psst, makes it feel bigger because the tank's high. The new Honda's just sit on top of them, really. There's only they a, look the, small the, than the, bikes, mate. The seat tank's quite low. Yeah. Where, because I'm lazy. So I just economically you call it. Sit, yeah, yeah it's so, <laughs> But that old seven bike. I mean, if you if you had a brand new factory old seven bike now, brand new one, you still go fast on one. You still hundred and thirty ones or should do potentially. You know, yeah. I did hundred and thirty three four slowing down for pits, and then the sort of job was done. Then I was just riding to my boards. But um, then touch. I'm going to touch wood while I say this. You get a phone call in 20 minutes, you're sacked from Honda. You want to go to the TT <laughs> next year. Good one. What bike would you be on? While he's in the contract on. <laughs> no, but you... BMW. Right. You'd have to be, wouldn't you? I'd go and buy an Honda. Run it, run it, it's run it like, myself. You know, you know when you talk about it, the stock, like... They're all good. They are, aren't they? <laughs> Yamaha's oh, good. Yamaha's Yama, Yama good. It did seem like a little it, bit it? of a, like a bit of a leveller this year. Mm. I know the BMW was exceptional, but then the Honda wasn't that far off, was it? No. And yeah, we is know it, the Kawasaki. It was Kawasaki. a stock package. It yeah. Was fast. It was a, it's a fast bike. Kawasaki's obviously a bit long in the tooth. The Yamaha, historically for the last few years, hasn't been there or thereabouts, has it? But, it's but, just yeah. been lacking. But then but they put the Motec on it. No, but you see, like from when Jamie Cowie did the laps... Mm. to James Hillier doing the laps so allowing more tech under the Kawasaki's as well as the R1's I don't know why I'm doing this hand movement no, I'm, 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 hypno- I'm uh, hypnotising you I'm watching it there you go. dog watching <laughs> no. <You're> but, <laughs> no but you know what I mean It's there's a f- few little changes to try and iron out a few issues anyway <clears throat> there was a few 130's as well this year weren't there but they were not there was you Craig Nee, Simon Anderson, Sa- Sa- Sean Anderson. Anderson. Yeah, he did. Well. Sean did it on the Suzuki. Did, Rob Hodgson. Did Rob Hodgson. Young, did yeah. young James Hyde sneak into it? Nearly. Nearly. Uh, uh, what a pilot he is. I'm, I'm a big fan of James Hyde. Mm. Big, big fan of James. Like, he's just. He's just still he listens to the well, show. He really listens young. to the show, but he just doesn't. It's just, it's, it's just him, you know. He just, he's happy with just what he's doing. He's quiet, isn't he? He's quiet. The one thing is, he's building his foundations under but, the radar. Then when he does, you know, when it's he wags his hand for a go he'll be he's five years five six years experience so you're not trying to educate him where to go and how to do it he's just got to 
you know, put it all together himself, you know. But Mike Brown nearly got his fifth win, didn't he? Why? Well, he got across the line, haven't you? The twin race, but oh. he went well, didn't he? But he was like, I followed him on the old uh, superbike, and he's like, gets bounced around a little bit on that thing. He needs a bit more experience on the big ones, but, but, but like Burrows, but he's got like, plenty of balls, like, hasn't he? Oh, I hundred percent. Like Burrows have like chucked the like. Um, RK, like uh, Charlotte, who sponsors like the Burroughs team, they are just fully invested in that. Mm. And they've got a fantastic bunch of lads. And they've got awesome bikes. I bought Tass's old, Hutchie's old gear, super bike, the stocker, spare engines, spare this. It's like Good package for him. It is. Good it's package. A, it's a brilliant team, that. Mm. Brilliant just, team. Were you touching on Hutchie? There was a few missing, weren't there, for this year? Hutchie. Mm. Gaz, was, Gaz had a bad crash in. Yeah. I want to say it was Czech, it was Czech Republic. He got ran over, didn't he? Coolant went down or something like that. Mm, I think he busted his leg. Coolant or oil had ended up on the track, but over there they've got like just they just put the stakes in the ground with a bit of mesh across it, and he'd ended up in there, snapped his femur, the ah, bike followed him in, oh that hit him, and then another bike came in, and actually it was the bike that hit him and broke his leg is also the bike that saved him because that was the buffer that the other bikes were hitting. So it was a, it was horrible, but yeah, he's had his hop now and femur's pinned and. Mm, sad, yeah, so not, sad, but no just shows it goes wrong in the breath, doesn't it? You know. But, was... but you know when we're talking about that one thirty, you know that last senior race, Craig Neve did his first one thirty and finished eleventh. Rob Hodgson finished tenth, did a one thirty. It's now it's got to that. Yeah, yeah. step I, 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 was, I was battling with him. Sean Anderson ninth, eighth. Ninth. <laughs> not sure, and he was he'd been in top ten in all the other races. Yeah, I mean, does really a good well. job. I followed him somewhere in practice and. Uh, he has some corner speed. For me, he's one of the most he has underrated. Some speed. I went to see him riders. after him. I was like, mate. I said, you just need to just be a bit deeper on the brakes. He's a bit because he's not short, short circuit. circuit. Yeah, he yeah. just a bit ginger, a bit yeah, early. just a little bit. bit. I said, mate, you know, if you just tighten that up a little bit and break a bit harder in a few places, and if you've got all them corners do break a little bit harder, then you know you'll find five, six, seven seconds in a breath, and then that takes you to another level again. But yeah, I followed him over the mountain through. 32nd and 33rd windows like whoa you know he's got plenty of plenty of speed on in the middle of the corners yeah how he so, hasn't had a big opportunity as well because he's a mm, he's a fucking nice bloke yeah really nice proper bloke. good peddler yeah, yeah. i mean yeah he, he hasn't been on his own bike for the last couple of years has he but like you say like that next set we rode for hawk yeah last year yeah. did crowy do a 130 big crowy he had yeah. a, well, he had a peg up his ass didn't he what did he in his ass how did you get a peg week, up your ass? You no, know, he fell, crashed, high side, landed on the guy's Where? bike. Um, oh, Cadwell. Somewhere. Oh, before the TT. Bang, straight through the side of his arse cheek. Well, he got infected. Plenty of arse, isn't he? Plenty He's of arse to be. get through before the end, so. And our next guest, Sir uh, Crowley, get yourself yeah, in. Sorry, Crowley. Yeah. I don't want to let him Well, I'll say, would you tell him that to his face? No, that bollocks. <laughs> no, what a fuck. No, be no but he wasn't, he, wasn't, he wasn't well. And then, speaking of unwell, uh, Connor Cummins missed a lot of practice. He was unwell. Then what was that virus? David, David Todd, he was unwell as well. The shits. <laughs> Did you just have the shits? The shits, I think. Because yeah. he was on a drip, didn't he? And Both oh, ends, man. I think. Both ends. I, I had a Coffee little bit. Coffee enemas. <laughs> I had a little bit as well. I had uh, wild shites for about 24 hours, but luckily it was on the, the day off. Right. Uh, so I sort of, like, a, I felt okay, but, you know, the stomach's just like, I'm just rushing off to the toilet. And, See, that's uh, the more come in and that, you know. I'm, I'm only ill for one day. I'll show you a picture of it. Who's that? <laughs> It's um, it's like oxtail soup. No, but like you say, it's been a weird day. Oh, aye. It's like weird, isn't it? Well, Somewhat wrong with you. Uh, aye, you'd dip your chips in that, wouldn't you? I haven't had a solid shit for years, but then this look at the scene, look at the pre senior one. Are you going to show me one of those? Look at that one, look at the colour of it. It's like a. It's like a. <laughs> It's well, like that little button mushroom. That's, that's, on the, that's top, the end. Right? That's the last drop in it. We snapped off, but it looks like a Farley's rusk. Humans <laughs> 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 want a lot of Farley's ruskies. <laughs> He's eating them with kids. Oh my! God. Yeah, I had some uh, yeah some dodgy Manx poos. Yeah, but like I say, uh, I'll tell you one thing that I did this year, and <laughs> if Harvey Harvey Belton's listening, he'd be, he'd be chuckling to this one. But he just made me drink all the time because I don't drink. As you know, I don't, I don't drink, but it's like it's obsessed with hydrating, hydrate, camel hydrate. boy. <laughs> I am, yeah, I'm a camel, yeah. camel boy. Don't, w- don't piss either. You like you haven't, drank, you haven't drank anything yeah. all day and you haven't pissed. It's mm. weird. Yeah, I'm, I'm weird. Uh, but I used to get headaches and stuff like that. But I'm get, I just, he just said, you know, I've had these, I've been having these gels and all. I never thought I'd ever sit in. What say them? That. Oh, the gels. energy ones? Yeah, gels. Which, 
give me immediate fucking heartburn. So I have a gel, <laughs> a Rennie. <laughs> Sign of the age. Gel, gel mixed. <laughs> swill down with a Rennie and a fucking load of water. But uh, <laughs> I think the hell. But, I needed to drink. Hell, I was like drinking, 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 pissing, drink, drink, piss, piss, drink. drink. On start line, I'm in them little looking tardises pissing in them. But yeah, no, I definitely uh, I felt a lot healthier. You know, like Good. getting off the bike, I wasn't absolutely hanging. Last year, I was hanging, hanging. This year, still a bit fresher. But last year, I was blowing out my hole. And they could see it. You know, the teams are working around the clock, doing all that lot, and you're not making any effort whatsoever. They can understand why they get fed up. And it's been it's been part of my racing journey all my life. I've always been like that. You know what I mean? It's been a, but I've been able to back it up. Yeah, yeah. You know, but now when you're not backing it up, it's like, I can't, you know, I can't sit there. And uh, just when, well, 2007, that 130, I got fined 16,000 quid that year for being over 12 and a half stone. <laughs> I'd fall over to I'd fall so. I'd fall weigh-ins in my contract. So I'd quarterly weigh-ins <laughs> on, on my wages. <laughs> so uh the, Neil Tucks with like he'd be wandering around with these little scales in his hand, you think, you little bastard, you know. Because you knew what was coming, because you knew you were over twelve and a half stone. Jumped to over twelve and a half stone, four grand off your wages. But I, I missed hell. all four weigh-ins. <laughs> Cost me sixteen grand. <laughs> the first one thirty, everything was going great. I said, oh, "Can we not just make it two grand? You know, <laughs> can I have a deal? Try to bid him, you know, for like <laughs> two grand." No, nope, it's in the contract because it was down to the penny. We talked. He's like, "I wanted to smash his head in." <laughs> anyway, <laughs> do, you, do you feel like you're gonna have to make some changes for next year, or mm, not? Not really. I mean, end of the day, I've got to get around the table and work a deal out. You might not want me. No, no. But Are you like, on 12 no, no, month contracts with them? Yeah, 12, 12 month contracts. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's negotiable. We can get around the table and make a bit of a plan, but I don't know what their plan is. Uh, you want to no, go no, back no, next not, year? Not talking about, okay, we're talking about everything's in place. You've got everything that you want, blah, okay. blah, blah. What do you want to change? Question, what do you want to change, which would be now. <laughs> Second question: What do you feel like you get should get paid change? five million quid? Five yeah, million quid. That's, that's yeah, uh, totally, totally agree. Because I, I, I wouldn't change. I'm just trying to think. Nothing with the team. The team, my mechanics, the great, the the passionate about it. They all want to be there. It's two over two weeks away from your family. It's tough on them. Yeah. So. You know, I have my family there, so it's a lot easier for me. They're away from the family. So all all the people that I work with this year have been epic. The bike has been great. Uh you know if there's a new bike next year, I'll get I'd love to be involved in that development of that, which I quite enjoy doing all that sort of stuff. Yeah. Um so but I wouldn't 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 change much. I mean no. I wouldn't want to really. The weather was want that weather back again T T mm-hmm. we're gonna go and do it again. But it, it, it's nice to hear because obviously you know, like when again we came we came down beforehand and we we're just talking about how Hickman spent a couple of days at your yeah. house after the T T and talking about like bike fitness and like how people can get so driven about that. But you yeah. were laughing and joking on that. You were like, I had a chat earlier on, didn't we, about it? But I mean, we, we were both on the same ferry on Monday morning, and then like I, I parked my motorhome up, I park it next door, my, my wagon and stuff, and then I come towards the house as his motor on my drive. I'm like, oh, Hick is here. So I was like, all right, he said, oh, can I hang out? Uh, can I annoy you for a couple of days? Yes, no problem. So I went to the Speedway Monday night at Bellevue, and I went to. Uh, ride at Brandsats on Tuesday and, and Wednesday we had a day out and stuff but it's funny because you know we're on barbecue you know chicken sausages burgers tins of fizzy pop ice creams you know not no push Class. bike no push bike out at the bottom of the motorhome and off pedalling you know he didn't get out of bed till 11 o'clock on Tuesday just lying, lying around cause was, I mean I suppose that's a bit TT blues are all knackered but yeah so it's chips we had, yeah, chippy dinner, barbecues, ice cream, donuts, three days of sitting on his ass, and then he's gone to gone up to the to, to Knock Hill. Yeah. yeah. It just shows how, how we're all different, you know. Davies paddleboarding, gym, cycling. Nothing wrong with that at all. There's nobody judging anybody that way, but like I just love the way he's that's what I'm saying, he's in his prime. Is he late to mid to late thirties? Hickman. Yeah. Yeah. 
Riding the bike. Yeah, Riding the bike's the easy bit for him. Yeah, he just yeah. loves it. He just loves He's so naturally talented. He's strong, tall, fits the whole TT thing. And he's on a bike constantly, isn't he? But yeah, and he told me, I won't tell, I won't release his weight, but he's actually quite heavier than you think because he's a big bloke. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, you know, to, to, to do what he does is epic, you know. And riding, you fly into that knocky lap in 30 times in a BSB race with them all them top guys around you, and you're at anywhere near the sharp end, that is fucking tough. That yeah, is a yeah. tough, tough race. And, you know, his preparation for the week was... You know, was barbecues, ice creams, donuts, and chippy dinners. We, see, it's love it. it. It's great to hear that side, but like we were talking about prior, from an outside looking in, you know, at the end of the day, like I, I you know, I can't pick, like, you know, pick up the phone, Hickman, and go, oh, you know, how was your session and stuff. Mm. But it's nice to see, from an outside point of uh, perspective, that his cage was rattled, because mm. every person in a TT fan like history just went. Here comes the Hickman show for the next few years. Yeah. Dunlop yeah. took mm. him to that next level. Yeah. Did you see Great, yeah. that 136 happening this year? And if so, when did you see it happen? I didn't see it happening on Stocker. Right. I saw it potentially happening on the last lap of the, the senior with a dogfight with mm. two two guys going at it. But it happened. He smashed him on lap one and he broke him in the senior. But his last lap on the super stock bike, we'll go under the radar because it's always super bike senior TT just takes over all the kudos. But that last lap was insane. It passed me between that goes leap and the second jump. So fucking hell, mm, I could see him. I looked on my shoulder at uh, it, it that caught was mad. it caught me a lot later actually, which was I was really chuffed about because in the first race it caught me a lot earlier. Right. So, I, so you knew he was coming. Yeah. Yeah. He just just going to be- somewhere else. My senior race were two minutes faster than the year before. Two minutes. Anyway. Good lad. The he uh, you went told. Him. I was oh yeah correct. Yeah. correct. <laughs> Stats also on me, but I could always. You can feel it. You can feel. It. I went <clears throat> into the governor's dip. I looked across and I thought, I'm far enough if I've even told him off to quarter bridge. So, I thought I thought, I'm going to lose a lot of time moving. Out, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah you, you, you want a clear run down. Yeah, I, I just thought I'll get out. going. So I just put the head down, man, bump through the bottom of the braille, and just as I come over the first, I goes leap. He passed me there and over to second jump and gone. I was like, oh, see, that's mad because to yeah. go He's through, gone through the bottom of the braille and then to have, but then to have to make to move enough to the right. of a lane change there. Mm. That's wow. Yeah, Fair well, he's play. just he's probably held back a little bit, and, and I lower my hand up. I'm not as fast through the bottom of braille. As them, he's just got that little whoa, little square run, and I've been probably he's flattened it through the bottom of there, and then and it was clean as you like. There's a picture of it in my column in the MCN. Did you see it? He's it's one of the it's really one of the real. most gentlemanly riders. Yeah, isn't he? He yeah he's always passed me he fair and it. square. Yeah, I got the same picture of me and David Jeffries going over that jump. Oh, class! Twenty yeah. years ago. Yeah. Well, twenty-one years ago. Oh, two. Yeah, is DJ same. on the same side as Hickey? Or yeah, is you on he the, is. On yeah. The, is he? Cool. He's on the same side. I'm on a 954 Fireblade Stocker and he's on his superbike. It's practice. This yeah. is, but was this, he's just steaming past me. So. What number, in your opinion, should Hickman go off at? No. <laughs> rev- whoa, 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 whoa. Let's change that question entirely. You can put the top 10 seeded riders anywhere you want. Where would you want to put them? Even se- I think we should... Selfishly, even. Not uh, even... <sighs> I think that maybe if it wants changing, just go by the the lap times. Fastest is first. Yeah, just, do conventional qualifying. <clears throat> that just takes any hassle out of it, doesn't it? Any smoke and mirrors and fucking bullshit. And Probably a little bit safer as well because you're yeah, just the passing no, but, side of stuff. But. Now speaking as like race and fans, I've tried all this. I, when I when I was a bit young, well, when I was going all right, I would go you're going all right. You are going all right. I know, but I, no, but I, I would. I'm when not going to name the, any names when you're at the peak. Let me peek. I used to go look to speak to Phillips and a few others and go, Well, can you put can you put A into Yeah. She's probably corrupt really, but it's, it's what happens, but you know, when you're the top you can do a bit of moving about. I but don't like, know it's corrupt, is it? You, no, no, it's yeah. everyone's it's, getting it's, the same bite. It's sportsmanship in it. It's sports, it sportsmanship in it. Yeah. But I would always want somebody who was who was fast to try and chase and I'd always want somebody who was behind me that I thought would never catch me. I'm yeah. not going to name any names because everybody in that top ten is fast. Yeah, whether you yeah. catch them or you catch them. 
So I'd always, you know, stick the thing. Oh, can we just stick, you know, in there? And it gives me a bit of space, and if I can catch it. Would you still well. like to do that now? I'd love to do that. I'd I like think, to be in I that position now, to be able to do that. Well, no, I'm not they, in that position now because everybody <laughs> catch, everybody's catching me. But in the same breath, everybody would have that opportunity. But mm. you're Paul Phillips now, right? Yeah. No, no. Yeah. Where would you put Hickman? Where would you put Dunlop? And where would you put? If Hickman? I was Paul Phillips and I was a promoter, I'd just leave him at number ten because it's good for the sport for him to come through and catch people, isn't it? <laughs> Um, well, it, but then do you know? Do you, would it would it would be not, would it be even better if Harrison was at two and he went number three and he caught him on the road? Them two rode round together, pushing each other on at certain speeds. But when you're ten seconds behind, it's always super super hard to unless something happens in the pit, so you run on somewhere. You're not taking ten seconds out of somebody. No, not a top rider anyway. You're not going to catch you know catch him and lose that ten seconds. It's always easier to chase than it is yeah. being chased. Isn't it? So do you have? So you better put in Hickey with Dean behind him. Mm. So Dean's got a target to chase. That's right. Because Dean's the one that's at a bit of a disadvantage at the minute. So yeah, you'd want to yeah. dangle a carrot for him. Where would you put I, him? I've won off, Where would you put him, Joe? I've won races in 2005 off number 10 on the Yamaha. I won two super back races in 05 at number 10. Because I always thought, I want to chase him down. But 10's a disadvantage. If, you, if, the, if the start of the race, say... I'm number three and I go into Union Mills and my bike stops. Four, five, six, seven, eight are compromised because they're going to get yellow flagged. And you could lose five seconds in a breath because you come out of Union Mills or something like that and you've lost all your speed up there. So, yeah. But number oh. one's great if you can go. If you're fast enough and go, if you could go at number one, probably gone. You know, if, his Harris, if Harrison was in at number two or Michael was in at number two, Peter's asked might be twitching a little bit but if anybody could deal with it Peter could because he's that chilled nothing gets in Peter's head I don't think Peter's just think, uh... it's like David Jeffries was he just reminds me of him you know massive fucking 10 pump wheelies coming out of the Craig you know I never did that I should shit myself because I do a wheelie wave a crown back and stop <laughs> <laughs> they look right dick wouldn't you <laughs> but like you know Dave used to just big massive wheelies past his sister coming out of the Craig she was boarding and all that like, it was class you know, but uh, I watched racing when I was a kid where Brian Reed ran out of fuel on 250 at Bedstead, you know. Class. After a six lap 250 race, you know, that's a long race on them. Things. That is, isn't it? Do think you can get so, in Michael's head? You know, said not mm. much you'll get inside Hickey's head. Do you think Michael's somebody that. Can I'd get probably motivate him more if you try and wind him up. angry. Yeah, but that's, the thing, like, that's the thing you've gone from, you know, when Dunlop smashed the lap record. In practice, it was like, here we go, here we go, here we go, here yeah. we go. You know what I mean? 23, 23 3 or something then on 650 ditch pump from a standing start, didn't he? And on about Tuesday. That's mental. Michael did. That's fucking obscene, that. Him during practice week was bonkers, wasn't it? <sighs> it was just fucking. That's what I mean. It's like, but the game the game came to. The, the, became a race event again. Mm. Mm. You know what I mean? Just and that's not against Hickman. You know what I mean? Like, no, that, that, I don't even mean that anything negative because Hickman has been so dominant. You know what I mean? It's like, just mm. laps, think laps, I, but it's everybody, Hickman would have loved that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Everybody fact, jumped on the thing with, with Dunlop, didn't they? Oh, I sort of discounted him whereas like you say, Hickey's in the background, very methodical, very, mm. yeah. practice week is practice week. That's the time to make all the little mm. changes and can we go away and can we do that? And he knows that BMW so well, doesn't he? He's been there. If right. anybody was gonna get if you if 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 your if your character was was gonna get rattled, it would have been rattled in practice for Peter because like he had break problems, didn't he? Yeah. He clipped yeah. bank at nearly at Craig. And I know the pictures make it look as a rider you go, it wasn't that bad. Yeah, no, yeah. I don't yeah. But yeah like, I know what you mean, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, for the for the public they're going, Whoa, fucking hell, you in every bit of the role, but to you you're just in a rhythm doing your thing. Yeah, yeah. You know, he's had all that work with that 700 Yamaha thing. I mean, that's just another massive curveball. I mean, I can't, I don't know how he does it. I don't know how he can run that PHR, the this, the Triumph Trooper thing. He's a grafter, isn't he? I mean, all that. And he's constantly, you know, he's more on the door, do, 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 and there's a TV crew there every fucking five minutes. So, a few birds in and out of there as well at night time. I don't know what's going on there. Um, <laughs> But it's just how he does it. I don't know. I don't know. Fair play. So, what well, if anybody's going to get? But he come out stronger, didn't he? Figured it out. Because, yeah. like I said, methodical, understands good team. Brains is in there. My first ever podium at the TT was '97 with Brains. We was there as kids. 
And now he's out with Hickey winning, you know. Just well, I was going to say, I think part of him being able to run all of that is yeah. he's just put the right people in there mm. and he don't micromanage nice stuff, does he? He'll just say, that's yeah. the right person yeah. to do that. I don't have to think about that now. You go exactly. and do it. I trust you to yeah. do it. He's yeah. not having to micromanage and say, oh, well, I need to fuck it. Is it... Well, you've got merchandise stand going. You've got yeah. the right people in there. Just... You've got the right people in yeah. that one. He's got the, the trooper merchandise. Hell of a business, Monster, man. yeah. Oh, hell of Monster sponsorship. The, the, you know, he's got the truck for the trooper thing. Then he's got all these... Then the hospitality. It was like flipping Hickey Road, that top row. It was like was it? Hickey, Hickey Village, you know. Yeah. But he's killing it. Yeah. We don't shout about it. No. We don't know about it. It's just getting but no, on with the job. Nobody's done it for it. him. He's done no. it, hasn't he? He's yeah. done it. He's made his decisions. Fair yeah. play to the bloke. And, yeah. and, you know, sticks as much money in his pocket as he can. Or as fair play to him. And win as many races as you can while you can. And, uh, you know, you put a fucking good show on. And, and you know, when you when now right, like records are broken, then people remember him. You know, might not remember third place. Might be fantastic third place. He might be an amazing win on the seven R seven thing, nobody gives a shit. You know, that thing was was a turd at start week. And yeah. at North West it was a turd, but he ended up, you know, pulling a win out of the bag there, but they won't give a fuck about that of that senior and that one three six on Stocker. So you know, I tell you what, that's, I feel, the way, that's what we want. That's what people, fans want. You know. I feel sorry for F A F A. Who would mind? She's going to end up with a load of tattoos. <laughs> you know what I mean? She's got one three six tattooed, and it's going to be. She next year. Gonna be going berserk with that one. Isn't <laughs> <laughs> She's not going to be happy with that one three six. Nice tattoo though. Actually, quite a nice. That looked quite cool. And tattoos were free, so that's a that's typical motorbike races. We get a free one, we'll, we'll go and get one. But uh, like, I got one myself, but. Uh, Dean, uh, Nathan got a real nice tattoo. I don't know if you saw that one. He got his mum. You know, his mum passed away. So he's, he's got mum through with the, the map of the TT trial, which is nice. oh, which is really, really nice. nice. And his dad got one as well. So all the family got one. But they must oh, be tight as well, good. getting them for free. <laughs> <laughs> I did some hairdressing. I did, did some it? hairdressing. I did you some, did? Yeah, oh I did so. God. Yeah. Sure, we did a bit of a promotional thing where I was cutting hair. So How did that go for you? All right. Yeah. It's not hard, is it? I don't know. My missus does it. I've tried. I fucking... You've got more hair than a dog, don't you? It just grows like mad. I know. <laughs> Mine's falling out. Mine's just dropping out. <laughs> Bit weird, though. Touching a bloke's head. I'm not really sure. <laughs> Better than touching his dick. <laughs> just doesn't... Hey, Cash is king. Just doesn't... <laughs> <laughs> just doesn't... Are you, are you bored now? No, 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 no. Honestly, not no, Twitter got, or that. No, no, I, I'm working... <laughs> I've just tweeted this whole subject. No, so, uh, no, we've got some, like, Patreon questions and I'm just flicking through because you end up going naturally through them anyway, so... But um, no, keep talking, lads. But he's a, <laughs> a case of it. Mark Prescott. Here's <clears throat> a good question. How many more years does John want to do the TT? Is Rutter an inspiration? <laughs> <laughs> Tell you, who inspired me was Greg Hancock, World Speedway champion. Oh, he can, oh, yeah. And he retired at forty-eight. And I said, if you retire, I'll retire. He retired. No, I didn't retire. Um, but I don't know. I'd. I don't feel any different than I did do ten years ago, fifteen years ago. Good. Feel mint, feel good. Um, good. They still, they still get the, the the bikes are still there. You know, really, I should be gone. You know what I mean? I know I keep saying it, but I should really be gone. You know, some there should be youngsters on that bike of mine, really, but they're not fast enough. Well, I was they're thinking, not good enough. You know, the minute you've, when you've I don't mean gone, that. I, no, no, when really you've like, gone, Walter's yeah. gone. Hutchie, although he's like Benjamin fucking Button, isn't he? Mm. Yeah, he he's looks like a kid, yeah. but, he's, but he's actually yeah. got a bit of age to him, you know. Yeah, exactly. Gaz is mm. getting on, you know. You look down, Doc. Hickey's late thirties. Mm, they're not queuing up, are they? At the no, minute, youngsters. it's it's that next lot coming through, isn't it? But See what happens with the Manx? Is any of them? Some, you're still serving it. To exactly. And I never thought I would be. Grid, I never thought I would be. I would Joey's teammate. God rest him, and he at forty eight. I'm fifty one, so I'm even older than Joey was it when he were when he were winning at forty eight. Do you, do you feel like as a fifty one year old? Do you think no. no? But do you think I want to just enjoy? I just want to enjoy this. I do. Now. I do want to enjoy it. Yeah. Rather than I, I take can, the risk, I just want to enjoy what I've worked for. I can. I remember a conversation with you when we were both smashed into a million pieces. And you said to me, all that was going through your head as you were flying through the air was, this is it, and I'm not going to get to enjoy any of what I've got. Mm. I hope you don't mind me telling you. Yeah, that. no, that's right. Yeah. But, you know, you, you'd... Yeah, I'd worked, I'd worked all that, worked all and risked everything to get 
my dream environment and I thought what a twat for but it I should have never been in that position that's what no, no. upset me but, yeah, yeah. But if I was ripping around me balls on fire and everything was going good and and I hurt myself then it, I think wherever you go after you're gone it'll be a bit more acceptable but if it was a pissing down wet day or something like that and you nobody's interested in it and you know like northwest or something it's pissing down that's why i'm shit in the rain because i'm not interested i never think there are, you never see a great wet race anywhere but um i don't know um i th- i just think i always think i was just wonder if people are laughing at me as well you know 51 uh, i've yeah. had a few i've had a, quite a few comments off the internet that have got deep into me Ah, oh, you passed it now. Just pack in, enjoy what you're doing. Do the, the top three are another level now. That's what they say, which hurts. They're another level. Like, all right, they are. But yeah, but, but what's a, but they are. What but sort of shit? Does that mean that the the sixty six other riders that are there or mm. just go on then? Mm. But you're not you're not running around in forty eighth. You're running around in sixth. Yeah, and it's not running around. It's fucking. Like, on, yeah. the, the best of the rest is fourth place mm. backwards, mm. and you're still competitive against. The rider yeah. in fourth. I just wish and it, that's my argument. It would be it. it would be nice to be go off the ball and maybe make a mistake or two and go. Do you know what? I'm done. But TT this year, Touchwood. You know, I had room left on the track. I enjoyed riding the bike. I got to ride the factory under. You know, and I look at it and go, you know, look at that petrol tank. Look at the suit of swing arm. Look at the carbon bodywork. I still fucking you're a bike pinch fan. myself really that yeah. I'm actually going to ride, ride this thing on the best track in the world I still think oh, I've, got, I've got to do it I, I, I have to do it it's, it's what we do um, and then you know what what worrying thing is failing isn't it not making a prick of yourself really and just then you're in, you know you can move to one side but there's nothing to say you couldn't ride a 650 for another three or four years at TT and Manx Grand Prix and have another rip round or whatever whatever you want to do you know Uh but if if it, if John McGuinness was sat here at thirty one, would have would one hundred percent say I wouldn't be sat here at fifty one doing it, wouldn't you? What do you think? You think you're going to be at fifty one? I want to be. Correct. You want to be? What do you think you probably will be? Fucking way like the way I'm going, probably in a box. <laughs> oh, fucking hell. No, possibly, but it's a risk for no, but everybody, yeah. isn't it? That with that. That is the side of that job that no, is but, there, and it is a risk. But and it's, but it's well, the most well, calculated. Loads risk, of ways looking at it. You know, it was in. Barishine died of cancer at fifty-two. Well, that's me next year, fifty-two. Yeah. I'm in sniper zone now. I'm more worried about having a stroke or cancer or something. Yeah, yeah. Well, I've, 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 lo- I've lost mates at twenty-eight. Mm. And, you know, with cancer and stuff. I just never know, do you? You know, it just. My favourite bird off. Uh, Fucking hell, Strictly come dancing. She's just got it big diagnosed with it. That Amy Welsh bird, breast cancer, thirty-two. Man, you just don't. You just don't know. Know. I don't know. No, so, no. Okay, Steve is like dying in a helicopter. You know, Colin McRae was killed in a helicopter. Yeah, who knows? I don't know. We all had a crystal ball. We'd all look at it and go, "Yeah, I'm going to do this. I'm going to stop before that happens." But it's not yeah. that. You don't know, do you? No. The point is, you're still fast. You're enjoying mm. your racing. You enjoy riding the bike. You're still competitive. I enjoy the. I enjoy the whole thing. Though. Yeah, I enjoy so. the crack, me. Yeah, yeah. You know, me and Toddy were together. Nicky was there. Josh was there, and they're all, all different characters. I yeah. like the characters, me. I like to sit back and like a bit of a fly on the wall and go. Okay, that's a bit weird, isn't it? It's like, <laughs> look at James Ilya, you know, like fucking. I could. He might not sail for twenty minutes. No, he's when he says like something, yeah. you're fucking in the big heap. Yeah. You're in the yeah, big heap, yeah. laughing your head off. Yeah, you know, Chris Harris came across this year from Top Gear. I couldn't just couldn't believe it. Just absolutely blown to, away with it. You know, the whole thing, the way it works, and how it operates, and came back for the scene here with his missus. Come back, flew back again. So that Channing Tate and me was there kicking around, loved it, you know, looking at Hollywood movies now, aren't they, about doing things like that. So, and they're blown away by it. But it's nice that they, they get it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it's so powerful for them to come and say, whoa, fucking hell, they're on a death wish, them like Death Island, which we've heard it all before. But they're sort of positive about it now. Everybody loves it, don't they? Mm. It, it, it's the last real place you have mm. a bit of freedom, isn't it? Correct, yeah. yeah. 
It is some, isn't it? You know what well, I mean? Red tape and all that yeah. shite. You know what I mean? Like, no one makes it do it. Well, it's full of Karens, isn't it? And everything else is full. I mean, look at that. But you touched base before a little bit on on Lee Johnson. And he, you know, he threw that conversation up on, on, on Twitter about me taking piss. He walks over the counter at McDonald's and all that. Lot. And then he called me the C bomb on it, but posted it. But anywhere else in any other any other job, they'd be hell on, wouldn't they? Oh. Yeah. You can't call somebody that. Of course you fucking can. Of course you can. You know, you can't do no, no piss, are. no taking piss, no banter in this world. You know, it's like we're so like say in this niche thing. Fucking God, mate, continue. For now, at least. Well, that's the thing, though, isn't it? You just you just need the sport to continue. But I tell you what, like you know, when you hit the, you hit the nail on the head, there, it's like the biggest fear of racing is not racing anymore. Mm. It's not all the other shite, is it? No, it's going to be a big altar fill, isn't it? Because if you're not if you're not performing, you're not getting the bikes. You know, it's that, it's that simple, isn't it? You do, know what I mean? Do you worry about the the gap when you stop? Because I was talking to someone uh, two days ago who's I'm not I won't say his name, but he's was very very high profile and he's now had to jack it in. Isn't doing it. Doesn't live in this country, but everything that all his family and everything are over here, and he has some fucking dark dark times. Cause he says I've done it for so long, mm. and now don't know what to do with myself, and I can't fill the hole, and I I don't know what it's been my way of life. Does that? Because I think there's going to be be a big problem in a few years with like you know these young lads coming up through these academies through mm. through the you know the British Championship and the Spanish Championship. They put everything into it. They think they're going to be a world champion. Mm. The reality. Mm. is very few are going to get that far. And then you've got these kids that have never thought about anything else outside of the racing, yeah. which I can relate to, but for you, you've done this for so long. Yeah, I don't know what else to do. Yeah, but what? I'll stay involved in the sport. Yeah. Though. I will stay involved yeah. in the industry. I'm still a fan. You know, when I couldn't race the 600 race, I got off the bike. I said, right, let's go to Ilbury, let's have a watch at Ilbury. I went to Ilbury, I went to Braille, went, you know, I was just like, fuck it, let's go and watch this, it's amazing. They're going to be like, blah, 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 blah. I'm like, a, still like a kid. So hopefully that'll fill the gap from that riding and just like commend what we've done, take a bow, you know, stay involved. And then I'm sure that will keep me stimulated away from not being able to race. Uh, you do think about it and like I say, it's weird, you know. It, I don't care who you are. You love your ego being grace. You're signing autographs. Everybody's telling you how great you are. A few pictures and all that lot and stuff. One thing and another. And I love the fact when we flipping, my TT levers are coming. UPS drivers coming up my drive. I know it's my TT levers. I'm like a dog. I can't I'm fucking, can't get out the front door fast enough to get the box out of the van. You know what I mean? And me and you and are arguing over the monster bits because he's always robbing my stuff. Alpine stars and all that. So I still love that bit, but it's going to be, I would imagine it's going to be tough. I don't want to think about it too much, but, but uh, why should like that's the thing? Like I think you can imagine like people just telling you, you know, like this and this. And people are trying to put something in your head. I think it's just natural, yeah. isn't it, to finish? It's no, a point, but, but every, fuck, everybody finishes, don't they? I'm the worst. But, I'm, and, I'm, I, and I should be finished, really. I know I shouldn't be. On, but I should be finished. On paper, yeah, you should be done. Shouldn't. There's it, no way yeah, I should yeah. be going around there. 31, and I think that's why thirty-one mile an hour laps. That's but, why you're in, as that. you end up in the firing line where people come yeah, out. The keyboard warriors now, come yeah. out with bollocks. Yeah. And I guess I'm asking you these questions because I already know the answers, but yeah. I think you need to say it out loud where people do listen to hear and they yeah. go, "Well, he's still fucking fast. He's still yeah. enjoying it. That's the reason." he's Because maybe some of them will fucking leave you alone. Yeah. To be honest with you, I don't know. Yeah, but you get a th- you get a thousand positives and you get one negative and it always goes in a bit deep, doesn't it? You know, so you always. I don't. I don't know. You, you, you look up to somebody who's old and past it. They, you get. You get. They get ripped a bit, don't they? And they take piss and one thing another. But I don't suppose anybody can at the minute the way I'm going. It is what it is. I'm holding my own. And I say, somebody said, I said, look, I mean. I mean, a, a percentage of the winners' time where I get a silver troll for silver replica. So if you're doing, if you're getting a silver replica, you are not in about in that level. So fuck them, you know. I'll just carry on and have another do. But I've got to yeah. get round the table with Honda. They might, they might make my decision. I don't know. They might say, well, it's going to be X rider and X rider, and there's no place for you. They might find me off somewhere to Padgett's. I have no idea. I've no idea at the minute. But you know, it's still TT Blues downtime. You know, for me, I'm still, you know, if. Senior TT was tomorrow. I'll be on my bike going doing it again. You know, so I t- like I'm going to go back to it. But my da- dad's my biggest hero, and I remember 
and this is probably only like five years ago and some bell end from his work is like his previous work went up to him and like oh you know how you doing and stuff like that and he goes are you still racing bikes goes, yeah, yeah i'm still racing bikes and this bloke who has no involvement in his life at all any direct contact with him bar meeting him in morrison's just said to him you should pack that in this and my dad just stood there and just went why and this bloke couldn't utter a word out and he just went he just couldn't utter a word out and it was like why should I give up something that I love? Mm. But if you knew me dad, well, you've met me dad a mm. couple of times, and you could, the confidence in his answer and everything, but you just go, why give up something that you love? Yeah, exactly. And the thing is, John, you're loving it because you're going fast. Yeah. And and when you're going fast, when you're going slow, that'll be the day. Probably. If you say, no, that will be the mm. day. We all, you know, when you feel like you're like, you know what, I'm not enjoying it. Mm. And because you're going, you enjoy the push. I enjoyed, you know, the no, no, I enjoyed the riding. No, that's what I, I mean. No, no, I but you know what I mean. Out. No, but the thing is, you know, if you just rode round on a Sunday, right, you'd just be on mm. the road bike, wouldn't you? Yeah, you, you wouldn't want to do it. Yeah, would you? you could enjoy riding a bike. That and if that's up to someone, that's up to you. But when you when you're a TD rider, as we all are, mm. I don't get enjoy- it. I don't get it that much, really. I don't. I don't get it. Get no. That, you know, nobody's, no, but, nobody's come up to me and said. Retire just a few keyboard warriors, which ah, but that's what I mean. You just you can't mm, don't let together. don't let the bastards grind you down, son. Yeah, they are, but you know yeah. what I mean, though. But you know when you you've almost said to us a few times there the fact that you've gone, oh, you know what, I should give up my seat. Like fuck mm. that, John. You you keep. Going. I'd be happy. I would be happy to give up my seat. You know, if somebody's there, like I say, you know, banging at the door, and I can accept that. You know, it's no problem. But <laughs> you get your finger out, son. One second off you, John. Should have bought. Should have bought. One second is one. (laughs) One second might mean one mile. Hey. No, hey, John. Hey, Phil had one second. Phil had one inch bigger dick. We've got it there. Hundred (laughs) percent. I haven't. No, no, but hey, no, you're right, John. And the thing is, I, I love racing against everyone on that track, and just keep keep doing it, son. Hundred percent, keep doing it. But have you got any? Have you got any more? Well, hold on. I've got a main question. Are you back at the classic? Oh, hold on to the Manx. Manx. You can't get that. 100th anniversary of the Manx Grand Prix, is it? Are you back, son? I'm uh, back. That's a, that's a good question. Hold on, where from? Where did that one come from? Carry on. I, Carry I'm, on. I'll be back at that one, yeah. Really looking forward to it. It's only in a few weeks. It's weird, isn't it? Mm-hmm. It comes around pretty quick. It comes around pretty quick. But, Ryan, uh, tear that one from that. I think I think Dom's just angling in here because uh, he thinks he can do me on the old classic bike. I think he's got me covered on that, don't he? What are you riding? Same track. He's, he's, he's nodding. He thinks he's got, he's got me covered. So that's all right. And he's got my Confidence. Heart. Yeah. He's fucking getting it. <laughs> 113 point. Brake horsepower he's talking about in his classified, by the way. 13.3 or so, I did on that. <laughs> in his pattern, 113 brake. Is that what you're on again? No, I didn't. Yeah, I'm on that pattern. Rod- I did 113 some more. Mm. Yeah. Not hanging about that. That was, that you went, was, that you went was one of some the hardest. last year, didn't you? Went through two, yeah. God, two engines, you. yeah. No, it's disappointing, really. Disapp- I'm not disappointed for me, I'm disappointed for the owner. Yeah, yeah. And do you know what? I was still at. Union Mills and watch the race. I just wanted to be out there. There's only so many opportunities you get to ride that track. And, like, there's loads of fans there on the beer, and it, it, it is lovely. They're all on holiday and all, everything's having a good time. But for me, I've dissected it to death. There wasn't a breath of wind. No. It, <laughs> it was, was 22 warm. degrees. It was warm. Yeah. Track was rubbered in. It was just the perfect time to ride your motorbike. Them, them conditions, you know, it wasn't too hot and all that. Like, it was absolutely mint. I was stood there thinking, Rrr. so uh, I was, I was good. Yeah, it's funny that thing. I've but, done, I've done, I've started, I've done seven classic stroke Manx Grand Prix and finished three. Fucking frustrating them things. Yeah, you throw everything at him, you just something daft goes wrong. You're like, so frustrating. But when you're going around them, it's good. I, you know. I want you to win one. I want you to beat me. I want you to go faster than the EMR. I want challenging. It's good. I'm not bothered. It's good. Look at that Mike Brown in 110 points somewhat on a push rod engine ES2. No one. He went, one of the best laps here. Fuck, that was someone. One of the best laps you'll ever see out of the man. Nobody gives a shit. What a fucking hell of a lap. On a, on a, oh, on a British rod. bike. That is yeah. Like, on a single. That was faster than Coward went on his Manx. Yeah. Craven Manx. Not much, mind. But considering he weighs a bag of sugar. Yeah, I, was only a sec- I was only a second faster than you as a senior. Not much, man. But I was in front of you. Mm. Doesn't matter how far you're in front, as long as you're in front. 
best kept in the That old chestnut. Yes, you better you better not pack him. He's a wild old I, bastard, I, isn't he? He's mate, got a few I, years on you. Mate, though. I'm not being funny. You better come out of the TV next year. I'll, I'll even lend you a bike. <laughs> <laughs> I'll lend you mine. <laughs> but uh, yeah, fast, I'm looking forward to that one. Good. Um, I just like I like the bikes as well. Some of the old bikes that go. I'm a fan of old bikes. My dad was a bike dealer, wasn't he? So all the shit my dad's had through his hands over the years and Norton's and Triumphs and fucking crap and RDs and GPZs and fucking garage were full of bikes that you'd, you'd love to still have. So like Manx for me is good and it's, it's, there's no pressure. You just stick the old lid on, have a bash round on on Roger's bike and Pat's better now as well. Roger's missus, she had about a bout of cancer, so. Um, you know, like I say, two engines popped last year, so hopefully we fixed everything and yeah, fingers crossed, fingers we'll crossed, we'll get to the end. Um, Macau, is that my cards? Yeah, I wouldn't mind. Yeah, spoke about it. Went in nineteen on Birdie's Ducati, probably the best I'd ever ridden around there on that factory V four. I mean, it was outstanding that bike, and really, really enjoyed it. It bloody broke down in the warm up lap. Oh, it's like what? Long way to go for that, but uh, I took the missus last time as well, for the first time, so. She's been around. She understands it all. What goes on over there, and one thing and another. So uh, it was good to have her there. And then Honda had teetering from get a bit of a sponsor on, and somebody pays a few bills. We could probably go and do Macau. I'd like to go. And, I've done it a few times riding for Honda, but it's been a thank you to the mechanics. Really, you know, yes. I found a bit of a sponsor, and we've all just gone on and had a good crack. You know, three yeah. three days of getting ripping it up, and then three days concentrating on the bike, and then a couple more days on the rip and gone. So. We've, Last few times with Honda, we've enjoyed it with that Legends team, thirteen, fourteen, and stuff. So yeah. hopefully, we'll. Are you going? You've done it. You've done it a few times, haven't you? With Daffy Bear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Once you did it with one finger missing, didn't you? Then you did it yeah, but obliterated right hand. <laughs> I seen him in a McDonald's at uh, where were we? Looking. That was opposite there. The we're hotel. In, we're in it? Newcastle somewhere. He pulls up middle at night, wasn't it? Well, I was going back from a chat show or something. You come oh, up, f- like this fucking typical Dom style. <laughs> Chop your finger off, didn't you? It scares us somewhere, did you? No, no, no where um, was sunflower. Sunflower, sunflower. Aye, sunflower. Took, took the finger it. off. <laughs> He's like, oh, I've got no finger. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I said, that's Macau then out the window. Oh, no, I've not told anybody. I'm still going to Macau. <laughs> <laughs> got to do these things, man. You've got to do these things. Let's hope that other team stay involved there, that Daffy Bet team, is it? Roy, is it? Was yeah, it Roy team? Constable and mm. Ben. And, yeah, yeah. So. Is that Mullet for Lee bus his leg, didn't he? Craig, third time, God love him. You know, he's, he'll be a hope, he'll be up, in, up on his feet soon, hopefully. You know what third I mean? time what? Has he been in that Craig it's three third times? Third time he's been in the Craig. Oh, dear. Not good. Not good. Not good. But no, he's, he can pedal a bike, mind. He's won the Manx Grand Prix as well. You know, he can, he I don't really he's know a, him. I don't, I don't know. He's a nice he's lad. Like. like He's just taught. He's larger than life. Bigger than his hair, without a doubt. <laughs> We've always done. Tell you what, we've got enough. We've got two more questions here in the audio, so I don't even know what they are. So what this first one's from Phil. A question for John. Ooh. What uh, part of the TT uh, course or in fact any short circuit um have you made the most improvement on so uh that you struggled with initially um and what changes did you make? What line choices did you make that uh, made an improvement time wise? I uh, just want to say thank you for uh, all the memories over the years. Uh, Don, uh, 130 man, we love you and always uh, queen of the pod, Grace. Thank you. What about Joe? <laughs> oh, mate, I'm just furniture. Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry about it. <laughs> but no, you briefly touched on that going up to... Uh, mm. what is, is that Tower Bend. Tower, Tower Bend. Bend, yeah. After the waterworks. Is that you know, what that's right, called? Right, yeah, left, yeah. Tower Bend, yeah. It's like a, a right and a left, but it's a long, continuous left and it sort of goes off camber down there with a piece of bump in it. Mm. Would you say well, that? No, I would say the mountain, me. I always found the mountain really hard to ride. The whole mountain section, really. But right. Coming from short circuits, I always took me a year or two just to really get that together. And I still think now there's never a perfect lap over there. You never go over the mountain, do you, twice as in? No. There's always like little 50 pence adjustments everywhere. But cause it all looks the same. You know, there's no lamp posts or telegraph poles. It's all. When you first learn it, is it the three left or is it the two left this time? You know, it just takes a little bit just to get to get dialed in. So, um, yeah, how do you adjust your lines? I don't know. It's just time, um, experience, and f- feeling the wind up there. You know, it definitely, you know, it's just like I say, it's like flying because I've never fl- flown one, but you just you feel the the bike pushing you, so you know little adjustments. Yeah, you need to be 
I need to be 18 inches to the left before I turn into the end of the mountain mile because it's going to, the wind's going to naturally push me onto the line I really need to be on. So, yeah. you know, little, little that comes with experience. And the nice comment there was, uh, I get it quite a bit and it's quite humbling and, and really nice is that, that thanks for the memories. You know, a lot of people say that to me now. The, some of the older generation who's sort of grown up around it and they'll do, you know, they've marshaled or they've been coming to the TT. That, that's, that's the real nice bits that when they just say, you know, Thanks, thanks for all the memories of you know. I've watched every TT you've done and all that. That's it's quite a nice thing. More to come, my man. And we've got one more audio one from Adam. Hi guys, um, congratulations, Tom. Congratulations, John. And everybody else involved with the TT. It was mega. I watched every single yeah. bit of it. It was um, fantastic watch. Um, first of all, Dom, well done for getting in the one thirty club. Well done, mate. You should pat yourself on the back. You should be proud of yourself. It's proper mega. Hossing on that is and John. Well done, mate. You are on pace all bloody week. All practice. Oh, what <laughs> bloody week or all practice week as well. Um, I um, I watched the interview of uh, of you, John, uh, when you were talking about your old chap. Um, and I was just my question is, did you have any dramas this time round? <laughs> Not just with your old chap, but you know, how you feeling comfortable? You look fast, so. You must have been on. Uh, everything was sort of lining up, but was there any dramas <laughs> with your old chap? I love it. <laughs> I think he's revert. Yeah, he's on about the. He's uh, left his number uh, for you. Yeah, give him a call. Love you. Yeah, no joke. He's, uh, <laughs> he's a penis yeah. inspector. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, the, that that when me and Foreskin come back at uh, Watmer Braille on that first lap of that six hundred race a few years ago, yeah, it was. <laughs> It was uncomfortable. It wasn't painful. It wasn't really affecting anything. It just <laughs> trying to get the hood back on. Yeah, but you know, I, I, yeah, I was like, a, you know, the dogs and the wiping their ass on grass and that. I'm just trying to, <laughs> but it, it just <laughs> just manipulate it. Yeah, that's it. You know, it just goes zush. and like, you know, like that, okay, you know. forever. It must be temperature related or something. <laughs> For every audio listener, please uh, log on to YouTube just uh, for this hand action of John McGee's going, oh, John. Uh, 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 <laughs> it was just awkward. Um, Adam, that is the best question ever. I, do you know what? I wish I had a funny story to tell you. There's not really anything to say. It was pretty, apart, apart from, you know, a few years ago with the old lad, as you call it, or chap, is it? The chap, <laughs> the old chap. Yeah, that must be a southern thing. Yeah. Uh, Belen, we call it. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, do you know what? It was all pretty much. Yeah, I ran over a. I ran over a hat. At the Craig one practice lap, run over somebody's. Did you cap nearly at the football last year? Ah, the football thing last year. That was scary. Yeah. Okay, no. No, the double scary thing was was because I was number one. That scared me more because for a split second, nobody's broken down. No, nothing's happened because of this is, it's, it's 15 seconds into the race. Yeah. So I'm thinking, what am I going to see? Is maybe it's going to be backing out of a car or something, back of a drive or something yeah. like that. I just thought, what am I going to see? You know, but I thought it was a helmet rolling down the road, but I didn't yeah. know it was a football. But Jeez. at that point, you're like, you're pointing your bike where it's going and that's it you're not going oh I'm going to drive around this you can't go around it you're just on a projectile rocket Missile, and then yeah. you think fuck I just poof, went straight past it took me out of my stride a little bit because I thought they're going to red flag it what's going to happen they're going to restart the race and that it didn't but so it knocked me out of my stride out of my rhythm for a, for a few miles but yeah I've seen I had a pheasant walk out in front of me between uh, that left hander before the K tree that was was yeah Pretty scary, but I mean, sun was bad this year because oh. we had sun. Yeah, I mean, maybe I'm going touching base on my age again, but I just thought the sun was bad this year. I thought maybe because maybe the people have chopped some trees down or some of the branches have gone, so it wasn't covering because when it's fully covered with leaves, it's, it goes dark and then you, your eyes adjust. But when it's like strobing, I just yeah. thought it was strobing really bad. I, I peeled into uh, Gores Lee. On one of the practice nights, and I had to make a massive adjustment around there. Yeah, I went in too early, and I was like, you know, when your body just jumps out of your skin. Yeah. And then I had to, and then as quick as it is to do it, and I was like, so I'd never really risked it at all in practice through any of them sectors mm. at all. So, 
well, that was bad. Some was bad, but no, pretty pretty much uh, pretty much plain sailing. Mm. I got hit by a stone at the northwest. Yeah, did you see that scar there? That was rutter, that prick. See, rutter? Yeah, he's an aggressive <laughs> twat, isn't he? <laughs> Off the RCV. Yeah. Class. That, that, that was the worst stone hit I'd ever well, had that, in my life. Deep, that's, oh, yeah, that's skin deep, off there. That is yeah. proper deep scar well, tissue, that. completely black. But I'm like, you accelerate out of uh, Mill Road roundabout, so I'm like, bah, bah, into fifth, and you're going down towards them little jumps, and I could just see this black object hit me. And I'm going... <laughs> Fuck the station, oh, into station. You know, <laughs> you know, you can't. All you want to do is pull up and go, you bastard, you know, and give it a rub, don't you? But you can't, like, go to bars. You station corners coming at 180 mile an hour. You've got to get in there. Class. So that was, uh, that was pretty average, that stone. But uh, mm. my final question before rounding all off and doing the housework <laughs> quickly standout performance and hot, and who's not? That's three questions. I know, but <laughs> it's a nice round off there, Joe. You know what I mean? Think of five. It's another half hour. It is easy, <laughs> easy. You just even just name some names and go for it. <laughs> Chuck them under the bus. Standout performance got to be Michael Dunlop. Yeah, has to be. You know, from never in any doubt. I don't think. Yeah, but he pulled the pin. He come real good, didn't he? he really stepped it up. You know, totally four, agree. four wins. And... Four wins, three podiums in the DNF, didn't he? So, yeah. I mean, that's a, hell of a, that's a hell of a week yeah, of work, that. Yeah, I mean. So that's his standout. Who's been. Based Who's about? your standout? Ooh. Ooh. My, mine's Brooks. Just because, yeah. because I expected the top three to be the top three. Yeah. And then I didn't really know how Brooks was going to go. And then when well, he, you expected he put, Michael to be as fast as that? Or do you expect Toddy yeah. to turn him over? No. no I just, uh, that, yeah, I just expected those three or to Connor. be the big titans. That was the, I can't say not hot, but it was disappointing because I think Connor would would have had a bit more in him if but he'd had a good run. Definitely my man of the meat. I feel sorry for Connor. Yeah, yeah, yeah Connor had a shit one. Yeah, well, he, he, the Padgett he, slot had a, a tough run, uh, a really he, tough he, run. He eats, sleeps and drinks it, does yeah. it's Connor. It's Connor's big thing. And Northwest was clipped that thing, didn't he, at the roundabout right in front of me he twisted his knee and then he got himself back fit and for anybody who anybody doesn't say anything or doesn't moan or anybody like that you know mm. Connor just does say, say nothing just gets on with Joe but he's a hungry bastard he wants he wanted uh, obviously he'd be disappointed with everything that happened but what a shame what a shame they didn't you know they didn't, them two boys weren't on all cylinders it could have been a bit bit different a bit slightly different but like I say there's different people coming back and everything like that but my your standout? my standout was Stephen Parsons Ah, okay, yeah. Bone cancer, you know, mm. he, he should be... The fact that he did the 600 race, you know, he's had nothing but promise at Northwest, went mm. through two engines in practice, and he just, he got his replica in that super sport. He could barely get out, you know, he's still fighting a seat, like he should be, he should mm. be in a box, God love him, he should mm. be. And the fact that he stood there with his replica and he just wrote the words, fuck you, cancer, and it's just like, that lad yeah. has yeah. got beyond grit. Yeah. Mm. And I just think outstanding, absolutely outstanding. He only lives around the corner from here, right? Kendall, yeah. There we go. But Should he's just on the podcast. Oh, we have. Well, we're yeah. having the pat like again, mm. but I would like to get him back on it. The fact that he just he, his exact words, but I'm putting words in his mouth. But he said everything just burned, and you think mm. we have not gone through pain like that in your mm. life. He says everywhere where the cancer was in his bones, he says it burned, and you think, wow, mm. and he just dug in. Like you say, you don't find that energy. That's a different. That's a different. Yeah, because like. I think, like I live in probably in my little bubble. We you all do. You live in your bubble. Humans, all nice. the fast guys and all the sharp end of it all. But there's a hell of a lot of stories down further down the field, and you know it's hard to talk about them because it's hard to come out of what you're doing because you're so concentrating on what you're doing all the time. But mm. you know you brought Stephen up there, and you know it makes me feel like a prick really because you don't. There is. Oh, there's loads like you know, like you know, but, oh, but I'm down there. You know what I mean? It's, yeah, you know, you know I'm in that part of the paddock. You know, but what it's I mean? a, it's a, the camaraderie. The you know, everybody's looking out for each other down there. The budgets aren't as big, but they're all on the grid. They've all spent the money. They've all got that. So, I mean, they've got an international license to start with. They got an entry in it. They've you can't be a mug. You can't be a mug. You've, quali- the you've qualified. You know, you have to qualify. So you've got to do over 110, haven't you? Something like that. I mean, years ago, you'd be they were going around at 99 mile an hour laps on the on the track with those lot. So there's nothing wrong with that, by the way. I'm not calling them out, but 
you know, the it's hmm, the lot of stories, you know. There's loads of stories. It's Matthew like, Legree, he had that crash, didn't he? Newcomer, he was top newcomer, he slipped off at Laurel Bank, didn't he? But yeah. Shows world class, world champion, how easy it is just to, just to go down and get slightly lost on that track or whatever. I don't know the reasons, but hmm. Hmm. But yeah, nice but kid, I, nice kid that Parsons, yeah. I spoke to him a few times. Don't know him very well, but very quiet, very quiet. Yeah, he doesn't oh, say much. A, you have to a, you have to drag really every nice word lad. out of him, he's don't you? Really nice lad, yeah. Mm. But um, definitely, I totally agree with you with Michael Dunlop as far as hot and not, unfortunately, was um, was Davy. Mm. Uh, no, and you know, I think he'd say that himself. You know what I mean? It's just um, you just had next year he'll come back fighter faster and stronger. You know, there's no two ways about it. No just a character. It's a character builder for him to you know of course for whatever is. for whatever reason we had. I think he had a shock break, and uh, he didn't do shit far from it. But as yeah. far as what he's capable of, you know what I mean. You know, I think the he just ex- expected the expectation was there, wasn't it? It yeah. was built to be a lot better than it was. Um, like I say, it's it, what did you say to me, John? Yeah, he said something very wise, very clever for John. See, I threw that back at him there, but <laughs> but you know, was it today's news, tomorrow's history? You know what I mean? But we're all working towards next year now, aren't we? You know, yeah. that's that's the thing of it, isn't it? That is the thing. He's only 27 or something, isn't he? Wait, that's it. He's got still a boy in it. He's, the foundations are there. Everything's there. All his, all the bits that people love these days he's got on his Instagram and he's bang up to speed with all that. And he's, you know, he's cool. He's different. Mullet, glasses, stets and hats, dress, the way he dresses. I mean, he's fucking complete opposite to how I was at 27 year old. But if it were all the same, it'd be boring, wouldn't it? You know, way I would. It would uh, we all need characters. And Guy Martin was a character... You're a character, you know, that other Stevenson, Mullethead, whatever he's always called. Uh, <laughs> fucking Toddy and stuff, you know. Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, you know, the bull, Dunlop is the bull in a hickey. You know, I don't know, just great people. I think it's a great, I'm biased because it's my sport, but fucking hell. It is That's great, what but... Chris Harris said, he just doesn't. You know, the way we do it, you know, I'm there cleaning flies on my levers. He said, will Max Verstappen be cleaning his fucking leathers. Uh, no, he won't. You know, there's always hustling going on, no trying to flog a bit of merchandise. There's all sorts of stuff going on, which is cool. But, you know, at the end of the day, we stick our helmets on, do what we do. But uh, I don't want to say, what is it, hot and not, because it's a funny thing to say, not, isn't it? Yeah. Because it's not not. It's just no, no, not it's, gone it's, faster. It's, yeah. it's not yeah. happened, is it? It's not that it's no, not. No, it's not being there yet. Like, not be. you know, it's yeah. it's not like, you're not saying the shit far from it, but like, mm. it's, like I was saying with Davey, he's got, mm. it just hasn't worked out from this year yeah. when he's capable of more. Yeah. And he knows that, and we all know that. Well, word it differently, the one, what, which one for you was the, the sort of the disappointment yeah. that it didn't come together for? I suppose Toddy would be the one who didn't, it didn't happen for, didn't it? I mean, I just want, I want Connor to win one. Oh, don't we all? I want Connor to win one. Yeah. Um, he's anybody who can go to hospital for two or three days and be on a drip, then just jump on your back and do 32, 32 something or thirty, whatever he did, and finish fourth. He's he, he's got the, he, you know he's, he's got not, the minerals, isn't he? He's 100%. definitely got the minerals to do it, but it's just not just quite happen for him. But I know what motivates him. He does his head in that he's you know when people say to him, oh well, if he or you know, if he can Harrison Brett down, you're going to be there, aren't you? That fucking winds him up to death. And I, I want to beat him. Yeah, I, I, like, I can beat him anyway. Right down, that's what yeah. Clyde believes as well and as a team. Yeah. And they put all the effort into him and stuff. So that knocks him and stuff. But it's good for motivation sometimes. And Good. Mm. Any, more, any more questions, my man? No. We could see, I think honestly, we should I, let you oh, get yeah. on because I was about to say, uh, we're, we're getting you're supposed to be somewhere else, aren't you? So. Well, no, I can, I, I've got time for you boys, no problem, like I say, but uh, I'm going to a posh do this, this afternoon. Grantly so Hall. He's, he's... Grantly Hall, I'm going to be way out of my depth. Way out of my depth. Yeah. We, we can go. We'll lower the tour for you. <laughs> no, do you know, I had an email. No, with you. you know, <laughs> definitely... <laughs> I had an email <laughs> off them the other day to... Um, to choose what robes we want in the room. Shut up, man. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and and what pillars? <laughs> what what like stuff we want in? What like the, goose, duck? I've no idea. Polystyrene monkey, balls. Monkey foreskin covered. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> hood covered. I'm not gonna be out of a piss tonight without looking at that going. Straight. I mean. <laughs> I'm going to be turning up in Honda CRV. There's going to be rollers there and fucking Ferraris and all. I'm going to look 
I might go, take your pick. I might up. go in van. No, take your pick up. You know your <laughs> Honda Activa. You know your yeah, I yeah. Take, take that a long son. time to get there. Just fifty mile hour flat out. John, I'll tow your son. Nah, just go in your pick up. Yeah, that we'll one. Ranger. That Jeep, would turn to me. Where's my silk robe, you bastards? <laughs> <laughs> you got to pick pick the robe. And I look to the <laughs> look to the menu. I'm like, where's egg and chips and that? There's no egg and chips on there. It's all fucking. Can I have the clever axe, please? <laughs> I'll be. Uh, <laughs> You know what I hate when you go in hotels at posh hotels when they take your room, take your, your gear to the room and they stood there with their hand out. Yeah, I can't do I that. I shouldn't have carried it myself. Yeah. I can manage. I didn't ask you to do it. Yeah, and they stood there like, I just love it when I just don't give them all these hanging out like that. <laughs> <laughs> I get around for 30 <laughs> seconds. Like, yeah, mate. <laughs> <laughs> you just take a shit with the door open <laughs> while I like, still stood there, don't you? I hate all that. That <laughs> <laughs> is that. We'll see. I'm just going to speed drink a load of drinks and just get wankered and Probably make, see what happens because it's the best way to do it. Just get blathered and you're not worried. You're not Good lad. Worried about your P's and Q's because I won't fit in there. Good lad. Mm. <laughs> Proud of you, John. Never change. And we know you're not. And that's why we all love you. That's exactly why we all love you. Mm. But hey, honestly, John, thank you for thank letting you very us. Much. Thank you Cheers so much time. for like We were here at eight o'clock in the morning. What a man. Just for squeezing yeah, his before. Yeah, I'll get out of this sauna now. I know, oh, it's it is probably hot not here. showing it, but it's red, don't <laughs> <I>? <laughs> I'm sweating like a prison snitch, honestly, I'm, I'm telling you. But um, honestly, thank you so, so much for coming on the show. Uh, thank you to Colchester Kawasaki, thank you to Alan Garner, Bennett, Joe Atroyd, thank you so much. It's been too long since we've had you on. And John, one more time, thank you so much. And we will uh, catch up with you soon, my man. Well, that is a little bit of a sore subject because we still need to get the graphics done. So right. it was yeah, good. Nice. So Colchester Kawasaki own the Global Motor Group, but we are going back to Colchester Kawasaki. So this is brought to you by Colchester Kawasaki. So actually, Joe, well done because I mentioned him four times in there four go. seconds. There. So, <laughs> what a man. It's not your first rodeo, son. It's not your first rodeo. But uh, no, have a great weekend. Uh, nick us a couple of robes. That'd be awesome. And uh, thank you to all our patrons. Thanks very much. soon. See you in a bit. See you guys. Chasing the racing. Powered by Colchester Kawasaki, part of the Global Moto Group. We supply new Aprilla, Moto Guzzi, Vespa, Royal Enfield, Kawasaki, Sim, Mutt and Benelli motorcycles.